recording is in partnership with the EA Creator Network. How is everyone doing this morning? Good morning, friends. Beebs with the best bean. I'm so excited. How are you? Hi, Nostalgic. Welcome on in. How are you doing? Nostalgic with the seven months. That is so cool. Thank you so much for the prime subby. Hi, Pixie. Good to see you. Welcome on in. In about 10 minutes, I'm going to have a phone call come through from my bridal shop store. So I'm going to have to pause stream for a second. But like, Good morning. Welcome on in. Ah, Kat, thank you so much for the two months. Ravi, Namaste, Jacqueline, Kayla, Tia, Tony, Crystal, Sue, Lana, Sims Lover, Ash, Raya. Yes, we're doing more build tours today. Just a few, though. We're doing, uh, we're going to finish up what's on the wheel. And then kits will come out. We're going to look at the kits. And then we're probably going to work on the, uh, the one thing. No, these are not Shell Challenge Tours. These are just anything. Shell Challenge Tours are next week. Hi! Good morning, everybody. Wedding stuff was good yesterday, yes. Um, what did we do? Oh, yeah, we went and looked at the, the venue again. Um, I think they drop at, like, noon. I think Central, I think. I think. Time blindness is real. It very much so is. You know, Raya, I've added you to the wheel. Um, so what we're going to do for tours today, we're going to finish up everyone on the wheel and then, you know, we'll kind of like alternate. Mel, thank you for nine months at tier two. Sunny, good morning. Jamie, Chris, Hiken, Desiree, Lexi, welcome on in, by the way. And Mel, thank you so much for nine months, two months from Kat. You guys are amazing. And then seven months from Nostalgic. Cassie, good morning. I hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Kai, welcome, Ella. Hi. Hello. Sad Swamp Puppy, Ravi. Welcome. So good local time of day. Hello. Little Bear, welcome on in. Good to see you. Happy Thursday, everybody. And thank you so much for starting a hype train, too. SMJ, how are you? Welcome on in. I'm so glad to see you today. Um, Good morning, though. Um, homework because the classes are still my entire personality. I get it though. I'm so proud of you. I'm doing good today. Welcome, Toaster. Sam, hi. Welcome. Um, so on the agenda today, I did post like a little blurb in Discord about what's on the agenda. So we're gonna do some tours to start our morning. Elena, thank you for six months. <laughs> thank you so much. Six months and 36 months from Sina. Shut up. 36 months. How are you doing, dear? Feels like yesterday I found your content. I love seeing you in this community grow over the past few years. Uh, I'm so excited. Oh, and another three. Thank you so much. Oh my God, that's crazy. Don't make me cry. Thank you so much, Michelle, for six months. That's so cool. Sina, thank you. Six months for Elena. Sina with three heckin' freaking years. And then six months for Michelle. Thank you guys so much. Good morning. Hi, Kayla. Thank you for the ditties. You're so nice. Elena, welcome. Your friends have their power. That's always a good thing. That is always a good thing. Thank you so much. A house I really want to build for my Apple Gen, even though I haven't started Bubblegum yet. The, honestly, I'm always thinking of the next build, even before I've started the current one. You know, Toaster, good morning. Sam, thank you for the 400 biddies. That is so nice. Oh my God. So on today's agenda, what are we doing, guys? We're gonna finish up the tours because we had some people on the wheel yesterday um, that I wanted to finish up. We've got about four left, so probably eight tours because we alternate. Um, and then what else do we have? Um, when kits drop, we are going to be... Two years? Excuse you. What? Mr. Hall? <laughs> Riot? Thank you so much for two years and nostalgic. Thank you so much for five gifted subs. Hello? <laughs> I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for five gifted subs. That is so nice. I know. I don't even know. Has it really been that long? It doesn't feel like it, you know? Thank you. Holy heck. 
two one above stream chat and then one in the main area is it just me how do i fix this um you should be able to expand the chat box somewhere oh my god though happy friday eve yes i'm so glad to see you stash good to see you welcome on in but i'm gonna write your name here nostalgic thank you so much y'all You guys are so stinky in a little bit, by the way. I'm going to have a phone call one minute ago. Oh, my God. <laughs> I missed it. Ah! <laughs> I missed the phone call. It was my bridal shop. Um, oop. <laughs> You guys distracting me this morning. It was, to be fair, it was like off to the left a little bit. Oh, my God. I missed the call, right? I'm going to call her back. Give me just one second. <laughs> It's about where I can send my my things, my gowns. Raya, thank you for the gifted sub. Oh my God, I feel so bad because we're in the middle of a hype train right now. You guys are crazy. Thank you so much. Um, I will be right back. Hold tight. I do need to call her, so give me a second. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I feel so bad. You guys are chaos. Oops. Yeah, right. <laughs> you guys, I had to take that phone call. So it turns out I would they would they were trying to like send me an email. And then my email address wrong. Y'all are stinky. Nerd, good morning. What the <laughs> Hi guys, <laughs> thank you so much. I was like, oh, a cat, <laughs> me when cats. Thank you so freaking much for the, for the six gifted subs Valencia. You're so stinky. What are you guys doing? Thank you so much. I hope everyone, oh my God, Panda with the five. <laughs> Thank you. No, Sash, I couldn't even tell you the original <laughs> lyrics either. I could not. Hi, Virus. Welcome on in. Kyber really joined the hike train. So we had a drive-by snuggle sesh with Kyber, you saw. <laughs> Thank you so 
much. Valencia, I'm going to write your name not in black on that because I almost said that. Oh my God, Limbo. <laughs> welcome to the chaos. Hi, Nikki. Thank you for the 100 biddies and welcome on in. Limbo, this just about sums up our community, honestly. Um, Y'all love chaos. I know it was, like, it was a run by snuggle. It really was. <laughs> what was that? Oh my God. Oh my God. I love it. Why is this such a bop though? Thank you for the 200 biddies. I'm gonna write Valencia's name here. Thank you. I know, I love that meme too. It was probably like one of my favorite ones on TikTok for a while type of thing. I got it. So good morning. Um, Hi, I hope everyone is doing well. Hi, Recal, first stream I'm catching live. Welcome on in. Oh my goodness. Welcome to the chaos. Everyone has chose chaos this morning. Um, <laughs> I really appreciate you guys. Um, so on today's agenda, we're going to be doing some tours for a little while. And then when kits drop, we'll be checking those out. Um, and then I hope to do a giveaway of a kit today. But EA is sometimes a little bit slower on getting us the codes because I am a part of the EA Creator Network. So I hope to be getting something like that to you guys today. Um, it's the it's like the Bistro kit. And then there's like a Riviera retreat. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> and then Dog Park. <laughs> What was that? Thank <laughs> Saxaboom. <laughs> I was closing my eyes. It startled me. Nostalgic what? Thank you so much for the thousand biddies. That is so nice. Because they're going to make me cry. A level seven hype train and it's for 12 minutes into stream. <laughs> I can't. Uh, the sticker thingies, uh, they do. I think, I think that they do. I actually have never paid attention. Thank you so much for the 23 months. We're almost in two years. Oh my God, that's so insane. Thank you, Nostalgic, for the thousand biddies. That is so kind. Thank you for your support, you guys. <laughs> oh, I'm a puddle. I really appreciate it. <laughs> you guys literally like who, what is in your coffee this morning? Cause like, I need to know these things. I'm just putting it out there. Like what? <laughs> I'm very grateful, but I hope everyone's had a really wonderful Tuesday morning um, or Thursday. It is not Tuesday, even a little bit. Thursday, where did that even come from? Why would I say something so hurtful like that? Creamer, vanilla, and caramel. Ooh, that sounds so good, though. But I still have my... I'm addicted to this. It's bad. It's bad. I'm hooked on that coffee. Saxaboom is one of my favorite Jack Black things. Oh, yeah! No, that's where I recognize it from. I know exactly what you're talking about. Because he was playing, like, the little toy, like, playing. The little toy one. Like, I, I aim to be, like, like, have the energy and the the comedic presence that Jack Black has in like anything in life. Like if I could have it just for like a moment, I think I'd be good. It's Thursday. It does not feel like Thursday. What day does it feel like to you? I know he's very spunky, isn't he? <laughs> Is that a seal? Oh my God. <laughs> that is definitely a seal playing a saxophone. I love it. Well, thank you guys. A vanilla and caramel in my coffee. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah, I usually do like my sugar free oat milk macchiato. I almost called it a macchiato because we call it that jokingly together. Uh, caramel macchiato. It's so good. It's like one of my favorite things in the whole world. I'm so addicted to it. This takes me back. <laughs> oh my God. That takes me back. 
Because that song, someone did like a He-Man like music video of it. How many of you guys played uh, League of Legends? Have any of you guys played League of Legends before? Um, I love how everyone woke up. No, literally, like what is happening? Yep, Um, I had a, do you remember the gemstone Tarek? It was like his pink. It was like his, the gemstone Tarek skin. Um, And it was pink. And he was wearing like fluffy, like pink leggings and everything. That's the skin that I used. But I had a sticker of Tarek. Yeah, that was like my skin of Tarek because it's so gay. I love it. Um, I had it was it was a it was a little sticker of him and it was like that He-Man meme, whatever, but it was Tarek instead. Um, I remember that one, right? <laughs> I like playing Tarek and just like in the bush and bot lane, just like whoop, and you pop out of the bush and just hit somebody with your hammer. <laughs> Oh, the memories that took me way back. I had this sticker on my laptop way long ago. Uh, with me on the run, no Beyonce, just suffering. Aw. <laughs> yes, I love it, Stash. I hope your run goes well. But I do have a really important question for you guys this morning. Um, would you love me if I was a worm? If you would, go ahead and type yes in chat. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, every stream we give one of these away. Ooh. Thank you for the biddies. You guys are in a, like, in a, we're like in a party this morning. At a party. In a party? We're at a party this morning. We are the party. Thank you guys so much for the hype train, by the way. Level seven? I literally have tears in my eyes right now, y'all. Watery eyes? No. Teary eyes? Yes. Um, someone cut. Oh, it's a good worm. It's a good worm. It's the most adorable worm. Um, it literally, it's green here. I promise it's cute, but my green screen is making it look a little wonky. <laughs> Amy, thank you so much for the three months. Hey, it is Thursday. I love it. Well, thank you so much. A dead baby snake. No. That makes me so sad. Hi, Thunder Dogs. Good morning. I hope you're having a good day. Our happy time zone. Welcome on in. We are just getting started. Our community woke up and caused, like, chose chaos this morning. 100%. By the way, guys, tomorrow we have a co-working session planned. Um, co-working session. Tomorrow's the last day of the... So I think I want to start earlier than 10 a.m. to get our day kind of kick started and work on things. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love that. I wasn't a SpongeBob girly, but like I love Patrick. Patrick is just the moment. Like, I love it. But yeah, I think I want to start earlier tomorrow, earlier than 10 a.m., work on some things and then reward ourselves with a little Sims treat afterwards. I think that sounds like a good day. Alley Cat 1209 you would love me the most if I was a worm today. Um, send me a message. Hi, Creek. Good to see you. I hope your session went well yesterday. Hello, Patrick is the mood. I have a um a Patrick uh air freshener in my car, actually. Jessica, welcome on in. How you doing today? Good to see you. A four day work week. Ah, that's right. That that's probably why it doesn't feel like Thursday, because a lot of people might have had Monday off. <laughs> Raya. Thank you so much for the biddies. And then also nostalgic. Thank you so much for the 200 biddies as well. That is so nice. Doug, right? I didn't, I don't, like, I think I've seen Up once, and let me tell you, that movie messed me up. I think that movie messes anybody up, though, if I'm gonna be real with you. You know, like, oh my god. Oh! I have money if I can't wait for it. Ooh, that's awesome. Oh, you didn't expect to win. That's exciting. If you need, if you need help figuring out how to whisper me, let me know. Because I have a form for you to fill out. I don't know if you've won a sticker in our community before, but I send a Google form to you guys. So then I can just like make the label and then send them out. Logging into The Sims 4. Oh, that's awesome. We do have the shell challenge that is due next week. Good point. I almost forgot about that. Um, so if you guys want to do the shell, that is not the word shell. There you go. 
Ali. Excellent. I have sent it to you. Thank you so much. That is very exciting. So today is kit drop day. Um, okay, so reeling ourselves in again. Oh no. I forgot to update my mods. <laughs> Aren't updated yet, but I, I want the login rewards, right? Um, do I check the mods now? I don't know, maybe Mulan and Rapunzel dream last night was so random. Oh God, right? No, that, that is actually so random though. That's insane. That is so insane. <laughs> I haven't had any issues with my mods, right? Um, I know that like there's a bunch of things like tool better build by. Selfishly need to know, right? Wait, need to know about what? Wait, my brain. Oh wait, no, the, the dream or... Do you remember what happened in your dream? The shell? Yes, for sure. Please do participate in the shell. The mods, also the dream. Yes. Like, so there's a bunch of, I have, I have like a bunch of mods that I need to go through. I completely spaced it last night. I was at my computer for the, like the better half of the evening, actually. And I forgot to just update my mods because hello, brain. Um, I'm also very clearly good at that. <clears throat> But yeah. Oh, good. Okay. I got the, the consultation email thingy from my bridal shop so I can respond to that later. And I think we're going to start looking at um, mods now. So, so who wants to go mod shopping with me? I don't remember what I was doing. Uh, I had a dream that the Sims are free. I saw that. Oh my God. I saw that. I've had dreams like that before where like the, the Sims team accidentally made all of the packs free and then I did like a big because I never do at everyone in discord um ever and uh so I did an at everyone in discord to let you guys know that it like all the packs were free and to get them before they like fixed it basically kind of thing <laughs> because this is a very normal thing to have in your head, you know, like that's a super normal thing, right? To like dream about the fact that like the packs are free, you know, <laughs> like accidentally. Rainbow Google, I love it. A list, otherwise I'm guaranteed missing one, right? I usually just go through my, my like, I have everything like bookmarked and stuff as we saw, but like, I usually just go through my folders and be like, oh yeah, I gotta update that one or whatever, so. Okay, um, this is confusing my brain. Better inventory, searchable visit. Where is it? Um, because I think he just updated better, better build by and stuff. I know he was on his honeymoon. So it took him like a little bit to like fix everything, which is totally like a valid thing. <laughs> like, heck yeah. Um, it felt so real, but this is EA play via EA play. Ah, I actually checked to see if anything free from EA for The Sims, right? Because every once in a while they do something like that. So I wouldn't be surprised, you know. Where's Tool? Oh, <laughs> it's literally right there. Okay, we're good. Got it, guys. Okay. So... I think we're good here. I want to double check myself. Hold on. Because I have these all on my desktop. Oh my God. I think I, uh, Get to Work is free from EA Play, the one that I actually own. Aw, is Get to Work free potentially? <gasps> UI Cheese is updated. I am not sure. Um, I'll be finding out in just a second, though, for sure. Hello. Why is this in there? Because these are Stardew Valley ones. How did that get in there? What? I'm literally so confused right now.
What? I've literally never, I have not touched Stardew Valley stuff since like, legit, since 2021. Uh, Zunny, I'm working on filling them out. I actually saw your envelope, so you didn't miss anything. Good question though. Uh, yes, I turned into a worm. Hi, Ashy, good to see you. Welcome on in. What? I'm so confused right now, you guys. You would choose this updated 528. I like don't know what error handler is. And I can certainly tell you that cuter, fatter goats is certainly something that I had in like. I am so confused right now. I'm going to go through and like update all my mods. UI cheats on my Xbox, right? Yeah, cuter, fatter goats. That was for Stardew Valley. Like I took this mod folder out of my Sims folder the other day. Yeah, the content patches, error handler, I'm pretty sure, console commands. All of that stuff is Stardew Valley. Like, I literally don't know what that is. Chunky animals, no, literally though. I love the chunky animals too. That was all Stardew Valley, what? Like, I haven't touched that stuff since like 2021, 2022, probably, literally. Like what the what the thing said. So that was very confusing to me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and like fix this. Yes, we had a level seven hype train. I couldn't believe it. Oh my god. We had cuter fatter goes, let's go! Right? Like y'all gonna make me cry. That's so crazy. Oh, he's, it was raining earlier. Nice. I bet that extra sleep felt so good. I was gonna go under like better build by over here and check. And I think this version is just whatever. So just gonna go ahead and download stuff. Um, I always get so confused like where to start when I'm downloading all my mods and stuff. I'm like, oh, and I don't even own that many or have that many. Okay, so I'm gonna download better build by. I'm gonna download tool because I cannot live without those like it's actually kind of insane uh my mac version of the game still ah uh, nice i hope that update goes well for you then though mod guard i don't know if i need mod guard anymore i'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of that all cheats i feel like i want to double check to make sure that like all cheats is something that like I don't need to upload or update. Better build by tool. I'm just gonna go down my list. All cheats, better exceptions. Uh, folder in my markers with all the links that my of my core mods. Ooh, right. That's a good one though. <clears throat> That's great. So tool, twisted maxi settings. I don't know what the settings is. What is that? Oh, better exceptions? Oh, it's the settings for all the Twisted Maxi things, I think. A folder in my markers. Oh, UI cheats is updated. Okay, perfect. So I have tool, better build by, better exceptions, all cheats. Um, save backup. That's so weird. That's like twisted. That's like, how did my Stardew Valley stuff get in this folder? I am literally so confusing. Uh, confused. Um, I don't know if it is Angela or not. I'm not sure. Uh, let me check his Twitter really fast though for twi uh, for twisted Maxi. Okay. Um, so May 28th, he's tweeting, I'm back from the wedding and honeymoon. I apologize for the delays on um, the few re re last few releases being put on twistedmaxi.com. My laptop's remote access so my dev computer isn't working. Um, blah, blah, blah. So, I'm not sure. He said, searchable post player dropping shortly. Yeah, I don't know. 
the shirt um it says protect trans kids i got it on amazon hi willow welcome on in hi sisabine or c bean welcome on in <gasps> yay working and i got a notification for free month sub that's awesome i hope you enjoy your sub that is so nice i really appreciate this the fact that people support this community by gifting subs and stuff like that and then uh, people have the opportunity to have a sub hi lean welcome on in good to see you I'm updating my, uh, what's it called? Thing. My mods and stuff right now. So I'm just going through all my Twisted Mexi stuff. And then I need to go through and get UI cheats. Here we go. This one, it looks like it said, yeah, it was updated the 28th. So like a couple days ago. So we're good there. I need to do that right. <clears throat> I know I meant to do this last night, but I got working on some other things like back end and then I just zoop, I just forgot about it. Um, I have no idea if I need like all cheats or anything like that, but I'm just getting them. I every once in a while I just download them because I know there's some of those that don't need updating all the time. Okay, downloads. Here we go. I'm going to open a new window gonna move all of these here onto my desktop extract here got your oh your login word for today yay mickety moo renly good morning i'm updating my mods right now welcome friends so ui cheats is here i'm gonna pop these in there I'm going to extract here and then he always gives you a nice little folder to work with and then you just go yep I want to replace those tool and better build by aren't ready yet I am not sure <laughs> I I just downloaded them I have no idea I just re-downloaded them login where it's supposed to be uh I don't know TikTok live studio that is what I used to go live on TikTok it's like a beta test program that I got like a random email for one day and they're like, try it out. And I'm like, OK. Better exceptions here. I'm going to put that there. Oh, Jesus. Nope. There we are. I don't know what the vortex stuff is. That's so weird. That was like Stardew. My Stardew Valley stuff got mixed into my things. That was so weird. I don't know how my Stardew Valley stuff got mixed into this. Like, I have not touched Stardew Valley stuff in a really long time. Like my mods. Hi, Tinker Bella. Welcome on in. Hi, how are you today? Good to see you. Uh, Twisted Mexi's Better Exceptions. I got that one all done. And then Better Build By. I have no idea if these ones are actually, like, done. But makes me feel better to download it computer pixies added again literally though make it emu uh off day oh i'm sorry oh a day oh i oh i read that as off day not day off okay <laughs> that is much better finish running errands that's so good i like to get my like on days off i like to get my errands done like right away you know um or as soon as i can that way like you have the whole day and then you're all done and that's it Plus, it gives me dopamine to do things, to like get things done. We're just literally, though. Exactly. Yes, I get the dopamine and then I feel like like, like the, the tone of my morning. If I'm productive in the morning, then my whole day kind of just like goes and follows suit because like the dopamine high that I get. My ADHD loves it. OK, so I've read shelf. This one is going to be. Ravishing OMSP. So I want to do that there. My loading screen. And then I've got the computer book package thing in its own folder. So here we go. Hi, Bubbles. Welcome. I'm updating my mods. I'm being a good mod owner. I'm being a good mod user. Look at me being all smart. I don't actually know if like better build by and tool are done, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I literally have no idea. My Stardew Valley stuff 
gotten mixed in to my um like this and i genuinely have no idea um how that happened um right you would use your mods in forever right you know that like i basically it's like my lifeline at this point i have to have tool better build by i have to have it it's like i can't breathe without it now uh my cash after changing mods on the worst of all this wait how do you do that <laughs> i've literally never done that before listen i just play the sims <laughs> i don't use curse forge for any of that no I don't use Curse Forge because there's like, there's only like one. So like basically MC Command Center, they have MC Command Center, but not MC Woohoo. I need to download MC Command Center. I forgot about that. Um, But yeah, like, so they don't have everything. So I don't like to forget which is where because the way my brain works. I know it seems like the long path because it quite is. But like. Yeah. Um, okay, so what does it say? Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm on Xbox and they have a pop up when you log in. Ooh, they have a pop up when you log in for like your login reward thing. Yeah, I don't know how to clean your cash. <laughs> Remove all access exception files in your Sims folder and MCC. I don't, I can't even tell you. I think I've done it maybe like once in 2020, <laughs> like not even exaggerating. Hi, Ace. Welcome on in. I'm being a responsible mod owner and I am downloading my mods and stuff. I am doing that. Extract here, MC Woohoo. Um. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Angela's same. I'm like, oh, that's new. Um, to me. OK, wait, MC Woohoo. See, the things that I learned from you guys. Uh, where's MCC? Here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and pop it there. I'm going to do this. I wish they'd just give you a folder, to be honest. Oh, no. OK, there <laughs> I was like, wait a second. No, 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 no. All right. Here we are. Always afraid to delete the wrong thing. Same. Uh, really helps. Maybe. OK, so you said. Anytime you add or remove mods, clear it. Local thumb cache. Just oh, so you literally just delete it. OK. Oh. Um, do I need to delete those? <laughs> do I need to delete those? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, so last UI exception, last exception, last crash. This is scary entire honeymoon no literally i hope it was paid for by tool same i delete those all the time i literally had no idea that you're supposed to do this guys i just play the sims y'all are like zeph help with tech stuff i'm like i do not know i'm like oh really does she really each file is we can keep and want to ignore ah kayla's literally an mvp okay and then there was something else you had to delete too. So like those thingies. And then what what did the, what did you say? You guys are so smart. Like way too smart for me. Um local thumb cache dot package. So you can just like straight delete that. Uh I have a bookmark somewhere. Um Sims General or Sims Troubleshooting would be like a good place to put that local thumb cache dot package. I'll delete that MCC folder for a last exception file. OK. 
Is that why I keep getting those errors? <laughs> I'm just like, oh, close out of it. And then it's out of my face. And I get it. I continuously get like annoyed that they keep popping up. And I was like, eh, that's a problem. Like it hasn't but bit me in the butt yet. Like it's so dumb. MCC for last exception, you said. So MC last exception. So it's got to be this one, huh? Um, uh, band fan, they're talking about posting Lil Simsy's video, not, not MCC stuff. Just to share like what things are okay for like deleting and whatever. Okay. So like discord that tells you mods are updated. Nice. That is, I'm in way too many discords already though. So I'm like, ugh. Half is allowed. Yes, you can totally do that, Reese. Good question, though. Pokemon Summer. That's so fun. I hope I paid for some of it. Right, though? No, Twisted Mexi is literally like, ugh. I love him so much. Okay. Is this the Better Exceptions Exception Reports? I think I could probably just get rid of those. MCC. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. Um... Logging in to get the reward, right? <laughs> it's so crazy. Good mod hygiene is, uh, I do this every time you change or remove mods. I'll be the one to admit I'm not always good about this. I literally had no idea. I'm like, update your mods. And that's like as far as I get. I'm going to delete my better exception reports. Okay. I think we're okay. That looks good to me. Recorded videos. Oh my God. I'm going to delete those because I don't need those. I know that it'll like auto generate the folder. Mod guard, I used to. I download from like three different mod people, so I don't really need those anymore. Uh, all the mods that I started uh, as most modders suggest you do, right? Ah, uh, Twisted Mexi Moss to get the log and rewards. Oh, it's probably better build by. Hey! Thank you so much for 37 months. That is so cool. I really appreciate that. So you said, yes, yeah, better build by because he disables some stuff. Okay, good to know. Let's go ahead and boot up our game. I want to get my stuff. I need to enable my mods. Well, actually, I don't know. I'm, I don't think I'll have to do that. It does. It does block the shopping cart because we had it yesterday. And I'm like, what year is it? Like, where, where, like, where did this come from? <laughs> I forgot that it was even like a thing because that was like one of the first things that Twisted Maxi did was delete the shopping cart with the mod Better Build By, which is crazy. But thank you guys so much, though. I literally had no idea i know that like if you ended up running into like a lot of issues to delete your cash was just like a good thing to do you know but i don't really run into problems all that much but i guess it's just like a decent maintenance thing to do all the time wait where are my login rewards at claim new rewards every week how to claim rewards oh Log events are limited time events that uh, I missed it because I looked away. I was dancing. Each reward, each week you can unlock new rewards. To unlock all the rewards, log in at least eight times over the course of the four week event. So it's um, Simmer's first loot box thing, basically. It's, wait, is Simmer Battle Passed? We need to come up with like a funny name for it. Aw, Tony. <laughs> you can view the current event as a tile in the main menu. Click the freezer bunny. Okay. Free FOMO DLC. Love it. I love this for us. I, uh, Island, thank you. Oh my God, Sue. Aw. Thank you so much for gifting that sub to Tony. I really appreciate that, Tony. Okay. 
I know how that kind of works. So it's not letting me click on that. I'm gonna go get... I'll be right back. <laughs> there was a noise. There was a crash. Uh, <laughs> give me a second. Hello? Was it in my office? I literally have no idea what this is. I don't know. Nothing like Yeah, there's like nothing out of place, so we're good. I have no idea. <laughs> no, I it was it was definitely like one of the cats. We think. Uh, oh, I wonder if they jumped no, down. It's oh. a, one of the showers. Oh, one of the oh yeah. one of my shower things with fifty bottles of lotion in it dropped. <laughs> I was like, I have the dogs at my feet. Yeah, at least it's not one of the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't question the noises. It's fine. Um, hi, Victoria. Good to see you. Welcome on in. I'm going to remove my Twisted Mexi mods now because that might be preventing that thing from opening. Okay. All right, I think we're good. Uh, just gotta keep logging in and out. Oh, really? Does it like proc? My razor will do that often. Just drop from the, it makes so much noise. It usually happens when we're sleeping. Of course it does, right? Log in eight times easy. That's 15 minutes of Sims gameplay with a lot, oh, with a lot of loading bugs. No worries, right? It'll be fine. It's like the Sims version of baseball. Cause like the ball is actually in motion for like such a finite amount of time. Mine does that too, bubbles. That's so weird. Cause I did a few times it popped up and uh, usually a different forever and you'll get it eventually. Oh my God. That's so annoying. We baseball. <laughs> hey, listen, we, I was good at white we boxing. We bowling. Heck yeah. <gasps> I got it. Second try. I think it's probably cause I uninstalled my mods. This week's reward are a bullseye dartboard, night sky layered necklace, and Guerdon Goods mini fridge and nano can 2.0. Log in three days to claim them all. I'm depressed now. One week one of five. I'm depressed now because guys, I'm going to be on vacation. <gasps> Maybe I can get Michael to install The Sims on his laptop and I can take it with us on vacation so I can log in to get things because we're we're on vacation the week of the 10th through the 14th. I can't miss my login rewards, you guys. <laughs> Watch me have him install base game for me on his computer. I have a shampoo bottle that loves to fall no matter where I put it. That sucks. That could be taped to the floor and I'll still find a way, right? So yeah. Yay! We have a dartboard, actually. That's kind of cool that it's going to be base game, though, you guys. Why get get together when you can just get free login reward dartboard? Actually, get together is a really good pack, though. Please joke, 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 joke. Google de remote desktop. That's a good one. That is so good. Someone created a mod to open all of them, right? I don't I don't think it's the same, but like, eh, you know. Okay, so next, so wait, wait, week three, how many weeks away is the 10th? So this is technically going to be week three. Pillow and a reward, like a trait. 
Oh, it comes with some good swatches. I actually want that. So I have a question. What happens if you, the pillows look really good. It's just the, it's just the, the one kit pillow, but with different swatches. I have a question though. Yeah, what was it? What is it going to do for base game build? So like if you download a build that has the dartboard, what is that gonna, what is that gonna do? Is it just going to give it to you anyway? Like genuinely, like I, I'm, I'm questioning this. Like, what does this mean? 24 swatches. 24 swatches on the pillow? Maggie! Welcome on in, friends. How are you doing? What were you guys up to, guys? Go follow my friend Maggie. She's so sweet. Hi, Red. Welcome. How are you doing? We were just talking about the free, uh, like the, um, the, the Sims Battle Pass stuff. You know what I mean? So now you can have FOMO in The Sims. So if you don't log in, you won't get free stuff. <laughs> it's the Battle Pass. Yes. No, but really the week three, week three, they have a pillow with 24 swatches on it. And I'm going to use that puppy everywhere. Oh, yeah. You get free login rewards starting like now, basically. I think you have to log in eight times in a week or something. I think. No, eight times across four weeks or something like that. Eight times across four weeks. So every single time you log in, you should get a, a new reward on different like throughout the, throughout the month, basically. With the different swatch, like they have uh, download the house in the gallery, use this pack you don't have, right? <clears throat> That's a good question. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Yeah, 24 swatches is really good on that. So fill me in. What were you guys doing today? By the way, thank you. So catching up on homework, were you doing a um, like a co-working stream? I'm so proud of you. When do you uh, when do you graduate, Maggie? I am so excited. We just reinstalled my mods and stuff because um, I'm responsible sometimes. Um, but yeah. So then we got our free loot box thing and now we're going to sim and it's going to be a good morning. And thank you so much for the follow, by the way. Welcome on in. How the heck are you? My name's Suffren. My pronouns are she, her. Body doubling. Oh, we got one of those tomorrow morning. I'm excited. Uh, I think you have to log in on different days, I would assume. I would assume. I wonder if Twisted Mexi's mods, since you're not able to like get the the perks for it with the mods installed. I wonder if he'll do something where like you can, it's possible to get those specifically. Automatically claimed. Uh, you have to grab them from the login screen. So like a dialog box will pop up and then you can like click on it and get it. Uh, I think I'm going to go live early. So like right now it's 1122 a.m. because I'm central time. It'll probably be like 8 or 9 a.m. Um, is what I'm thinking. I'll be going live early to work on some things before I like go into my normal streaming content. Hi, Red. I'm so excited. How are you? You're center too? Yeah, probably like eight or nine a.m. I usually start around ten, and then we're gonna sim after that. All of them? Are they really? Oh my god! And no one patch their game ever again. I'm just kidding. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. I'm so excited. We're going to be doing some build tours today um, for a little while. And then we're going to be checking out the new kits that are going to be dropping. And then we are going to be doing. Um, we're going to be checking out the kits and then probably working on my dog park because I was doing a base game in cats and dogs dog park. Make sure you save almost crash Kayla's game yesterday. Really? No man, no man, no. <laughs> uh, the trait is available when you age up. That's kind of nice. I heard that some people found it by randomization. They would like randomize it. They couldn't like click on it and find it. But like if you randomize enough, then it would like pop up. So it's like there, but like in spirit, you know. Like the update increased bugs on yours. Oh, no, they like. But that that's kind of bug fixing in general, though, if you think about it. It's like. Oh no, I fixed this bug. And then it makes 10 other bugs because it just kind of like breaks everything else. It's kind of like a domino effect. 
Okay. So I gotta go content, live edit, debug, custom content. Here we go. Um, these kits, ooh la la and chow bella. <laughs> A Barbie castle and she almost lost a bunch of progress. Oh, that's right. I remember she's working on her castle. That's right. Oh, Lena, that sucks so bad. I got stuck on loading screens a lot yesterday too. The lion cut sticker and belt. Oh my God. Ahsoka likes to keep her distance from, from the puppy. Kyber will straight up just like sit there and Bob will be like in his face and he'll be like, what are you doing? And maybe like meow at him a little bit. But that's about it. So are you saying? Darn it. I was hoping I'd be able to find it. But it's okay. Uh, I think you have to like open your game entirely. Uh, from what I'm, I'm gathering, Sierra, because it's like a dialogue box that'll pop up in your physical game. So you have to like load up your game to like get your stuff. All right, friends. So who's ready for some tours? I am so ready. So we're going to do random build tours again today for a little bit. Um, and then. Yeah, so I'm so excited. Um, so random build tours. So we do our tours in like a different like a different way. So we have a like, thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome we'll on. So we have a special wheel for tier two and tier three subscribers. And anyone can enter via like keyword that I type in for you guys. So basically we alternate between the two. So we're gonna start off with someone on the wheel this morning. Um, we have Ashy, Bubbles, Valencia, and Raya on the wheel this morning. Um, so is there anyone else who wants to go on the wheel before I spin that wasn't on, that wasn't on it yesterday? Hi, Pazilla. Welcome. I'm getting over the shock of it. I think I did it quite okay. I'm so excited, Pazilla. I can't wait to see it. We're doing tours next week. I'm so excited. But yeah, so, um, so this is tier two and tier three subscribers over here. And then, um, so we're going to alternate between the two. So let's go ahead and start with our little wheel and then we'll do anyone. So sub or not. So we alternate between the two. Um, Valencia. Oh no, you're okay. Stinker Bell. That's all good. I like the enthusiasm, honestly. Oh yeah. Uh, like I, she almost lost her progress. Like did it crash, but she saved like, or something like that. Didn't she? I wonder. What is your gallery ID? This is exciting, Valencia. And what build do you want me to check out? Ooh, you are like ready. I'm so excited. Okay, Haunted Coastal Victorian Lot, um, Anchor Point Abode, Anchor Point Wharf, San Sequoia. Look at you. <gasps> Haunted Coastal Victorian. How does it say from yesterday? I love it. Yay, no training today. Can't wait till the team comes to fix the lag and crash issues, right? On the plus side, they have like a bug fix team now, which is a really, really, really good thing. I'm so excited. Right? She was ready. Literally, it reminds me of Phoebes. I love it. A spooky theme shell last year. Really tried to limit packs minus kits because kit clutter is superior. Kit clutter is just too good. I agree with you. Oh my God. A bright, charming Victorian style abode often found in quaint New England coastal towns. But like most homes in New England, this place has history, spooky history. The locals have claimed for decades that, the, that strange things happen here. Rattling shingles when the air is still, pale shadows in the windows, flickering lights, odd creaky moans in the dead of night. Is it haunted? Perhaps. But to the family who lives here, this is just as homey, just as homey as it could be. So this one goes by Anchor Point Wharf in San Sequoia. Spooky build, I love it. I love it. Anchor Point Wharf. Um, Anchor Point Abode. Here we go. Yes, I know it looks so good. I'm so excited. I like spooky builds too. They're some of my favorites. I know I love the descriptions too, Bubbles. I can never think of anything uh, to put for yours right. Oh my God. The vacation rental spot, I love it. Uh, when she put the the, 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 the tags to, this, to get the secret stuff and then her game came back and she saved very quickly. Oh my God. Her life probably flashed before her eyes. 
Yeah, Butt Spot. I think Butt Spot is still with us. She's a little quiet right now, though, isn't she? Is Butt Spot still here? I haven't seen her today. Where is she? It says it's already in my channel. If I left your channel for any reason, I should have rejoined now. I know Butt Spot is sleeping, apparently. Dang Butt Spot. Anyway, let's keep our eyes peeled. Okay. A lot of urban areas, there's like a really fancy house up in there forever in the city just develops around it. Yes. Oh God, there's definitely some houses in my area like that. We did, we did infinity, I'm so excited. All right, friendos, I am going to go ahead and take a quick ad break because ads are going to play in like one second. I'll be right back and then we're going to do the tour after we're back because I don't do gameplay until ads are done. Roll that beautiful bean foot. Hang tight. Butt spot just farting around, right? And now we get to stare at this. Ooh, the roofing and the towers. Oh my God. A haunted residential? Oh my God. This is so cute. The roofing, I know. I love, love, love. You know I'm a sucker for Victorians. Gonna make dinner. I'll see you soon. Enjoy. I know top tier roofing. I love the porch. This big swooping roof back here. Oh yes. Oh yes. This is definitely, <laughs> it's very dreamy. I would love to say this in real life. Oh my God, this is the house that I would like, I'd be driving down the street by the way. And I'd be like, oh my God. And then I'd crash the car because I'm looking at the house. This would be one of those houses. I always joke that Michael shouldn't let me drive because I'm gonna crash the car. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Does anyone else do that? I know like, yes. We're simmers. Wait, you know the TikTok trend? Like, <laughs> we're simmers. We drive really slowly down the street because we're looking at houses or <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um, I do. I do it all the time. Uh, it's purple. Oh, that's so pretty. Is it like a, a deep purple or is it kind of like a nice periwinkle color thing? They do make good potty breaks. That is true. I do that all the time too. It sucks being a driver and wanting to stare at houses. It does. San Francisco Wharf would be 18 million. Oh my God, a thousand percent it would. We're Simmers. Of course we have a Pinterest board of houses we will never own, but most definitely build on the Sims. <laughs> exactly. We're Simmers. Of course we incorporate Simlish into everyday conversations. <laughs> dag dag. <laughs> this makes me want to make, make a, a TikTok, but I don't have a friend to do it with though. Like a, a simmer friend in real life to do it. Or or like you go to talk to your puppy, who's a good new boo or something. Because <laughs> new boo means baby. The Sims what, uh, was mentioned in Bridezilla video by Charlotte Dobre today. I laughed so hard. What? How so? Like what? How was it dropped? Like how was it mentioned? We're simmers. Of course we spend hours on Zillow, even though we'll never be able to afford a house. And there's like a millennial. Oh, God. Ah, cries in millennial. Ah, it hurts my feelings. Um, a page of similar words and translations, right? It's awesome. Facts, though. Hard facts. Of course, we'll spend hours on Zillow, right? Um, there's a house that went up for sale in our area, and it is beautiful. But it's like we live in the older part of the neighborhood and then there's like the rich older part of the neighborhood um like up on the hill higher so i'm just like oh my god we're back from ads yay this recording is in partnership with the ea creator network thank you i know this is so pretty so freaking pretty this one's my valencia sky song holy fart nuggets look at this 
I love what you did with your flower beds, by the way. I need to incorporate these more. Like, my brain is so, like, specific and so rigid with details sometimes. It's so frustrating to me. I love it. I like the foundation and, like, what you did with all of, like, oh, my God, the little details everywhere and the, the way that you use the scallops and mix and match things. The white, it's, like, all white, but it, like, has different textures and it scratches my brain really nicely. The spooky gnome in the garden. I love that. I saw that. That was so cute. Um, oh, I can't wait. Oh, my God. I'm excited to see what. A guest sim wore a wedding dress to someone's wedding. What? Oh, got it. Okay, that makes sense, though. That's really funny. That they, like, mentioned the sims in there. Be like, that's me! That's us! Oh, my God! I love it. I get excited whenever anyone mentions the sims outside, like, in real life or something. Like, off the internet. I'm like, oh, yes! Oh, this is cute. I love the roofing, by the way. Okay, and then we've got this cute little balcony up here on the top. And then this beautiful porch. God, this is what dreams are made of. Hi, Chi. Welcome on in. How you doing today? We're doing some more tours to start our, our morning. <gasps> beautiful little foyer. I love the different colors and the textures. Oh, this is so cute. This feels coastal, too. Go ahead, girl. Wear your drill. No, literally. <laughs> Sash, that's so, that's very appropriate for a Victorian thing, though. I love a good Victorian build. Like, go ahead, girl, wear all your jewelry at once. <laughs> the, no, the shell is due next week. These are just build, random build tours. It's kind of a carryover from yesterday because we had a few people left on the wheel. This is gorgeous. Where are these bookcases from? I know I've seen them before. Oh, God. Those are Strangerville. Oh my God. The bookshelves, I know they look like built-ins. Hi, girly, welcome, how are you? Strangerville is really great, I love that. Ooh, a secret liquor cabinet, I love it. And the weird little piece over here. Lilac, welcome, by the way, good to see you again. A lot of cats and dogs in Strangerville. Oh, Strangerville is like your best friend for when you're building um, Victorian houses. I love the little like rounded room. Your favorite wallpaper, same. It's so good. Paranormal is worth it for that wallpaper alone, I swear, in the flooring, the parquet flooring in here. Big hallway, oh my God. And then, ooh, this bathroom. Butt spa, yay! I was so concerned. Mother's liquor curtain. <laughs> liquor curtain, I hardly know her. She's alive. Yay! <laughs> Same as your Twitch name. Yes, this is Valencia's Sky Song on the gallery. I love it. That's the little tub area. Cries are not only changeable. Oh my God. It's so good. It's so good. It's like so necessary for building Victorians now. The chandelier is everything. Uh, the chandelier, I think this is from Seasons. Yes, it's, or no, Cats and Dogs. It's Cats and Dogs, actually. It's really cute. It's nice. I like it. Okay, this kitchen is so cozy. I love that. I love what you did. And it's like this little wraparound moment. I need to get better about like building kitchens like this. I always say this. Dark green. Yes, dark green and pink and like even yellow is another like it's so good. I love this. Now she's, listen, she clocked in late and now she's overcompensating, okay? Butt spot is. I love the little breakfast nook over here. That's adorable. And then we've got this big honking sunroom. <gasps> I know the blues. The, all of these colors are so pretty, Valencia. I cannot even deal. Oh my God. I couldn't resist using the Home Chef Hustle too. Like all of the chat cats and dogs paintings. Yes. It suits it very well, especially since it's right on the coast. Like you said, this like house existed and then the rest of the neighborhood kind of came in. And I could really envision that. Got a little bath over here. Staircase that goes upstairs. Oh, the little landing. I know what a pretty view, isn't it? The nursery. I love what you did with these different colors in here. This is just precious. Home butt hustle. <laughs> 
Oh, Budspot, we missed you. For like the first hour of stream, she wasn't here. Home butt hustle. <laughs> oh my God. She's just out here making up new packs left and right. Like my first butt stuff and my butt, my for my uh home butt hustle. Honey, she slept in. I get it. Definitely leaning to the blues. It's so pretty. They're such a soft blue, too. I do quite like a lot of the base game blues and stuff. Nurseries are hard, Meg. Same kids' rooms and nurseries. I love the different textures and the colors. You added like some pops of like modern, like fun in here, but it's still like a, a teen room. Yeah, so like they brought in their like new furniture, but it still has that classic feel because it's still that Victorian house, you know? That's cute. Oh my God, in the kids room over here. This is sweet with the bright yellow. My first pet stuff is so good for these color schemes. The bright yellow and the bright blue. They like cats, same though. Relatable information. Ooh, we've got the main bedroom. I like that. The different colors, like the brown and the blue. A cozy little fireplace area. And then we have a big bathroom. Ooh. I like what you did with the tower. Actually, this one is really cute. Aw, thank you, Raya. I know with extra sass, she is. Uh, she literally is so sassy right now. Is your biggest pain in this whole build? I love what you did, the circle bathroom. Like, it makes sense, though. The way that you just like, oh, it's a platform, and then you go up, and then it's another platform. Right? Umbrella, the circle bathroom, that's so smart. I never would have thought to do that. Round rooms are, like, super evil. I'm with you. This is beautiful. I love it. Can we get some hypes and hearts in chat for Valencia? Thank you so freaking much for doing that. That is so incredible. I love it. Ah, the third floor. Oh, was there a third floor? We have to go back. We have to go back. Don't mind me. That was so good. Thank you for sharing. Oh, in the towers. Ooh. Oh, that's right. Because the tower was like a little bit higher. What a dreamy cats and dogs vibey place, right? Ooh. Oh, Jesus. So the bathroom's kind of haunted by proximity. Um... <laughs> Haunted by proximity. Oh, Jesus. I was going to say, <laughs> like, if there's more, like, what? The haunted dolls. Jesus. Hi, Elena. Welcome on in. How are you? I think I already said that's interesting, right? There's some things in there. How the how'd you get in there? How did you? Was a goblin? I love it. It's like super cute. And then like, oh, there's creepy doll just hanging out intense all right friends so what we're gonna be doing today just so you know we're gonna finish off everyone that's in the wheel which we have three people left so we're gonna alternate over and do a random build tour now so anyone subscriber or not go ahead and type tour t-o-u-r if you have a cc free build that you want me to look at no custom content. Um, I hate dolls. My grandma CT and, and CT had a whole room just of dolls. I know, like the the old porcelain dolls freak me right the fork out. I hate it. It's so scary, especially the ones that blink. Don't have paranormal because I don't want hauntings. But I like I like the build by. Does that happen automatically? Do you have any data to turn on lot challenges? You have to turn on lot challenges. Um, uh, paranormal doesn't really like accidentally or unintentionally impact your gameplay so like you have to intentionally do it I feel because I haven't run into any issues I don't really like scary movies no I don't really watch a lot of movies I'm kind of boring all righty next up Willow the older lady that runs the apartment below me is a doll collection oh that is so scary oh no I hate that oh Morg, hi, welcome on in. Yes, Willow, what is your gallery ID, my dear? A whopper of a doll story might share when I'm not on my phone. Oh my goodness. 
I don't have like a creepy doll story, thankfully, because like, uh, uh, I feel like your soul would just like, I don't know, be owned by a doll if you have dolls like that. Old porcelain clowns. I went thrifting with Jess one time, like gesticulation. She came here to visit me like in 20. Oh, God. what the? It was like the summer after we moved here, I think, or something like that. Um, and she freaking like we went to all these old thrift stores and they had like the really old, creepy clown dolls from like the 50s and 60s. And I was like, nope nope I don't want anything to do with those I don't want to touch those I don't want to come near those because they're just like so unnerving and creepy I swear to god they come alive at night too I wouldn't put it past it I don't want that Ooh! um okay what one maple grove farm should be at the bottom oh my god what a treat ah! I'm so excited look at oh my god this is so romantic and scenic you guys. Maple Grove Farm laid empty for many years and had fallen into disrepair before Martha and Anna Lockett fell in love with its potential. Now teeming with wildlife and overbringing with flowers, the couple have transformed the farm into the perfect home for them and their twin daughters, Holly and Isla, um, built for the Simsy Dino Shell Challenge. Oh my God. Shut up. 50 by 40 lot in Henford. Okay, I was going to say this this build or that area definitely gives like Henford vibes. Yes. This is like made for this. Oh, yeah. Who? <gasps> Monster High dolls. I still haven't ever seen those in real life. I've, I know I'm familiar-ish with them, but yeah. I don't think I've ever seen them in real life. Conjuring series will never know about to like, you'll know about to secondhand dolls. Right. I think my great grandma on my dad's side, it's like my grandma, my paternal grandma's mom. I think she had a collection of like porcelain dolls, if I remember. I also learned, did anyone else's grandma or mom collect precious moments dolls? I like to call them baby boomer Funko Pops. <laughs> They're baby boomer Funko Pops. Tell me I'm tell me I'm wrong. They are baby boomer Funko Pops. <laughs> uh, Project Dream Bear, you can build your own world. I've heard some rumors, yes. There's a lot of rumors about uh about Project Renee. I'm really, really curious to see how many of them are gonna chalk up to be real. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Girly, they're precious. Th do, girly, do you now collect uh, Funko Pops? Um, this, oh, is a basement. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. No, oh, darn it. <laughs> I was gonna say, wait a second. I have a few Funkos. You have Ned Stark, right? I have like Pokemon ones and then I have like my Knuckles one. Oh my God, wait. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Look at how cute he is. I love Sonic the Hedgehog. He's felted. He's fuzzy. He, his box was crushed and I got him for like $2 at, at Target on clearance. And I was like, you're coming home with me, boy. Coming home with me. Thank you. Uh, these are not the same as Amiibos, no. I literally have like the Evolutions, and then the Gen 1 starters uh, for Pokemon. Knuckles, I love Knuckles. I want Tails and um, Sonic, and then I think that'll be it. I'm, I, I have this really stupid habit of like, oh my God, I have this, I need all of them. Um, I do have this though. He, he holds a controller and he's really cute. I love Tails. I got my brother the Sonic one. Anyway. For Christmas a couple of years ago at our own builds also. Uh, yes. Yeah. These are these are yours like only um, or not only, but like uh, so any build that you guys like that you're proud of, we can tour those today. It's so cute. I know I got tails for my for myself and then Sonic for my middle brother. Sonic was your all time fave growing up. It's so good. It was like 
one of the first games that I played. Okay, but can we talk about the, oh my God, bunnies. I'm gonna cry over the bunnies. I'm gonna cry over how cute they are. This is beautiful. I love your attention to detail and how it feels like countryside. Not flat, but it doesn't feel out of place either, like where it is in the middle of this field. This is literally so pretty. God, but the little, I know, I love this too. I know it, it blends right in. That's hard to do, I think. Oh, look at it. Oh my God. Uh, I do not believe that that bridge is functional. These builds don't have to be functional though. Um, You'd have to add like other things like platforms and stuff under it. It is possible to like make a bridge look like it's functional though. I cannot with train tools. It's so hard. I love the little paths. They're just so simple and they fit in. The way that you have them like meandering, it like the roads, it suits it so well. I know the gazebo, that's really pretty. It's just so simple. It's like in a wildflower patch. The roofing on the house. Oh my God. So this is a shell challenge you did, right? This is the Simsy Dino one from a long time ago. Love, love the roofing. I love everything about this. This is so cool. It's good basement basements, they can. Um, there's ways around it though. So like if your basements are, if you're having problems with your basements, you can actually like click and then drag up and down to get it to like look better. It's so cute and cozy. It is. It's very cozy. It's not overdone. Yes. It's just very elegant and very like it's a rolling hill. I love that. That's so cute. It feels very like countryside here because like, these are nice like slow rolling hills. It's very realistic. It is. This is amazing. Okay, inside. I love all the cute colors you use. The flowers are on the edge of the house at Hot Angle to Train. Honestly, I love it. <laughs> That's it. Seriously, it's it's like the like the fake mustache of the Sims world. 1K beans. Yay! The slow roll life. Right. Trying to make my houses look this literally perfect. I know, Katzy. It's such a a talent. I know the wooden hearts. That's so cute. A ranch vet. Ooh, that's exciting band fan. I love that. Like a horse barn thing. This is so cool. I love this living room. The slow <laughs> stash. We were like complaining that butt spot wasn't here and butt's like butt spots like hold my butt. And now they're coming. She's coming in with a a lot of flatulence. I'm not the attention to detail the TV remote. Yes, yeah, it's like it's like a live. Uh, it might be live at it. No, actually, it's just regular debug. It's really cute. This is so nice. I love the dining room and then the little um the laundry closet back here. Ooh, and the colors in the kitchen. The uh the pale yellow with that blue color. That's really soothing. And like a cute kitchen table. This feels like grandma's house. Like. This is grandma's house vibes, and I am in love with this idea. The slow butt life, I know. <laughs> I know that color combo, right? The floor plan for that reason, right? I love looking at like old historic houses for floor plans and stuff like that. Like 100% is so much fun um, because you can like, you can just like, I love old houses for that reason. Butt spot did wake up. She's back now. Thank goodness. Oh my God, from The Sims 3, I can't remember. Probably Appaloosa Plains, I would say probably. Or I think it's like Pleasant View or whatever it was. Whatever the base game one was, because it's so nostalgic. <laughs> With a butt ton of sass. <gasps> we have like a little office. Sunset Valley, was it Sunset Valley? I couldn't remember what the base game one was. This is so nice. I like the mismatched tiles and everything too. They look really good together. 
Botswal. <laughs> Ooh. I like the the wallpaper differences here. This is really nice. <gasps> Lesbian. I love lesbians. The pink room, that is really cute. I love those colors. This is gorgeous. There's a skill building room and then the kids room for the twins. This is just precious. And then we're gonna go all the way downstairs. So there's a, a ladder that goes down under here. And then, oh my God, it's a little playroom for the kids. This is darling. This is really cute. Oh, how fun that would be. I love this. This is so good. She slept in and now she's getting everyone. Oh, no. <laughs> she did. I know. She's like, it's like you guys today. You literally did like a level seven hype train the first 10 minutes of stream. I love lesbians. Right. Umbrella. <laughs> oh, my God. This is precious. Can we get some hypes and hearts in chat? Thank you so stinking much for doing this build and like letting us see it and everything. This is so sweet. I love it. Thank you, Willow. So let's watch the kids art display. It's so fun. There's so many cute swatches that you sometimes just don't realize exist. Playhouse at the front of that. Was there really? I need to check it out. Oh my God, there were people standing outside like at a, at a major intersection a few weeks ago. Um in my town and they were all holding like pride flags and stuff and then um my reaction was to shout out the window i love gay because that's all i could think to shout apparently <laughs> i love gay i'm like what am i doing <laughs> a, lot, a farm for a lesbian couple on this lot too might have a powerful sapphic energy <laughs> I love that. That's so cute, Stash. I feel like there's a lot of like really adorable farms that come out here. The toys. This is so cute. I'm screaming right now. A hand sign for real, right? I built a farm for a lesbian couple too. That's so sweet. I know I love that idea. Isn't that adorable? The little placemat settings and the tea and the picnic basket and everything. They even have like teacups. That's precious. I'm dying at how sweet that is. And then in here, oh wait, it's almost like, oh my God, that is so cute. It's like a little hangout play area. The playroom you did, it does a little bit, doesn't it? That was so fun. That's so cute. Your lesbian farm dreams in The Sims. I love that. Not my lesbian Sims living in a cottage farm in Henford as well, right? I feel like Henford is where all the, you know, the lesbians and the, the gay couples go to live and have their, like, cute little homestead and stuff. Like, Henford on Bagley is just that peaceful queer lifestyle. <laughs> I love it. Your game isn't loading. No, that sucks. I'm so sorry. It really blows, though. I hope it loads. I know so many, uh, so many lesbian home centers. I love it. Um, okay, so these are tier two and tier three subs. So we're going to go ahead and spin this wheel after our ad break because ads are going to play in like two and a half minutes. So I'll be right back. Hold tight and I'll see you guys in a sec. Roll that beautiful baby. An old footage. gay couple. I think there is. It's Ian McClellan or whatever. Um, M Moody and McMillan, these two, I think they're an old gay couple from what I remember. I think. I'm so excited. <gasps> Trying to replace in the game and the at repairing the game. That's a good one too. Actually, Tony, that's a really good suggestion. Closing your game out entirely and repairing. Two butts. Woo! Oh my God. <laughs> I realized that I forgot to go live on TikTok this entire time. I'm going to do that now. I completely forgot about that. Um, my bad. What's bot McLellan is Gandalf? Oh, I could see it. I usually evict them and build on their lot. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> 8,000 CC, who knows? Oh, that would... Red Wraith, have you updated all your mods and stuff? If you have any mods specifically? 
Isn't that an actor? Oh, McLellan. Oh, CC might be interfering because of the update. That is also a very good thing. A very good suggestion too. Evicting them is like not I love gay material, <laughs> but the little jingle noise. It's so satisfying. Hi, cheese. Welcome on in. Yes, we're going to be doing some build tours for a little while. So basically we alternate like one after the other with these. Uh, so like we do tier two, tier three drawings, and then we will do a, a random drawing for anyone and then go back to the wheel until the wheel is all gone. And then we will be um, uh, moving on to the next thing for today. I think I want to check out the kits because I think the kids will be dropping really soon. McLellan is very close to my last name. It keeps catching you off guard. You're like, who is that? All right, we have like a minute left on ads. I'm so excited right now. Iconic older actors like that, right? Me too. If anyone's coming in on TikTok or Twitch, by the way, we are in an ad break at the moment and we're doing random build tours. So if you have a build that you want to that does not have custom content in it, we will be touring those today. We have at least like, I think like six tours left. I can't math. Five to six tours left, basically. Yes, I know. I've been I've really been struggling with my mental health and everything. So I'm trying to go live on TikTok again and get myself back up and running again. TikTok versus Twitch chat, right? Um, it's not me refreshing the AI app for the new kids. I, I know. I wonder, don't they usually come out at like noon? Uh, I think he is. I do. Sir Ian McClellan is actually gay. He is. I love that so much. I know I can't remember how to smell his name, spell his name, not smell his name, spell his name either. I'm like, but it's fantastic. And we're back from ads. This recording is in partnership with the EA Creator Network. There we go. Okay, guys, who is it going to be? Is it going to be Bubbles, Ashy, or Raya this morning? I think it's McLellan, McKellen, I think, or something, maybe. Bubbles! Is Little Country Bubbles around? His name smells like clover. Is his name? Oh, you are? Yes! What is your gallery ID? I'm very excited. Bubbles! To Goog Butt! <laughs> he is a sir because he was actually knighted. That is true. Hi, Angel. Welcome on in. How are you today? I'm so glad to see you. We're doing some random build tours for a little bit. Green Bubbles 14. All right. Do you have a specific build that you want us to look at? Thank you so much for the follow. How the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. We are doing random build tours today. <gasps> oh my God. So any build that you guys are like proud of. These are so cute. I can't wait to see what you have us pick today. Um, 2526E Gen 3, because my venue won't appear at all. Oh, darn it. <gasps> I love this. Does this go in a specific lot? Hi, Kidless for Ones. How are you today? I'm doing good. How are you? Hi, Motherhead Mel. Good to see you, by the way. Welcome. We're doing build tours today. McKellen. Ah, okay. So it is McKellen. Got it. Got it. It was on Willow Creek. Okay. So 30 by 20. Willow Creek. It's giving Potter's Splay for some reason. Just because of where it is against the river. It's giving Potter's Splay. It's sad that I know that. Um, ow, my feelings. <laughs> but happy Thursday, everybody. I'm so glad to see you. Um, by the way, if you're hanging out on TikTok or Twitch, make sure to check out the link tree um, in my bio. I have a community discord and stuff in there if you guys want notifications when I go live and to hang out in the community when we're offline or online um, and all that. But um, I plan to start doing YouTube videos again soon. So, yes, just reach out to finish your Simsy Shell Challenge and I have yet to. Oh, those hairs are so tricky. I feel like they're so mean. Speaking of shells, we have one out right now. Um, it's due next Wednesday and Thursday. We do two days of tours whenever we do shells, which is nice. <gasps> Humans do have stripes. It's crazy. They're kind of like UV reactive, like cats. Can, yeah, cats can see them. It's really interesting. Yay! 
Yay! So extra yay, Mickey Moo. I'm so excited. I love this balcony here. This one in the front is so cool. I love it. And like the little flower beds that you added everywhere. Everything is so whimsical feeling. It feels like a real house and it feels like it would also fit in Willow Creek. Yes, we are striped. Yes, humans do have stripes. Um, cats can see them, which is mm, largely also like also like because of like just nature for them. But it's also why they view us to be like crappy naked cats, basically. Um, hi, Blue. Welcome. We're doing random build tours today. I hope you guys will get cozy. Hang out with us. Welcome on and everyone on TikTok as well. I love this backyard. The little sandbox being down the pergola from growing together. It might be. Um, this pergola thingy, my Bob, is indeed from get uh, growing together. I wonder what pattern I have. Ooh, right. I know it'd be interesting to see like what like what your stripe pattern would be. Hi, rotten lady. Good to see you. Welcome on in. We're doing more build tours. I know. I love sandboxes. Sandboxes are very fun. I like the little raised planter beds too. This is so sweet. The little backyard, like back porch hangout area. I know there's so many little items that you just don't realize exist sometimes. Where's this swing from? Um, This swing is from, I think it's the backyard, whatever the kids thing. Oh wait, no, just kidding. There's another one looks similar. similar. This one is from Going Together. This one specifically. Also, hi Kay. Came here commenting because I can't comment on Twitch. Aw, thank you so much for hanging out with us, no matter where that is. I appreciate that. That sand pit, I know, isn't that so fun? I think it's just pushed down by one little like platform thing or something. This is so cute. I love all the plants that are like lining the porch. This is really awesome. And then over here, little entryway. Ah! Uh, are you going to be able to play, actually play in this house with like Sims? Sometimes, yeah. Some people do make their builds for, um, some people do make their builds playable. Um, this one is likely looking like it will be functional. I know it's fully playable. So this one is fully playable on the gallery. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome on in. I appreciate that. Holy crap. It's very colorful, isn't it, Morg? Kids are showing in The Sims 4 now. Are they really? That's awesome. I know Twisted Mexi did something with better build by or whatever. Blashko or Blashko lines. Oh, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. How you doing today? How the heck are you? This is so sweet. I love this little craft room area in here. And then we have like a living room. I think just like the broad variety of colors just scratches my brain. So this was actually something that Bubbles was using in their like real, like their actual gameplay. Oh my God. It's so funky and fun. Oh, right. Morg, you're always watching on YouTube. So that even when I'm chatting on Twitch, I just get started when streamers see your messages. You're like, ah, it's like a sticker shock almost. I, I know I really want to live here. I like this style of kitchen. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. How the heck are you? This is so sweet. Like obsessed. I love the kitchen. I know I've got kitchen Evie and V. You guys are so good at kitchens. It's literally not fair, especially the way that you guys do open floor plans and stuff. My brain will not let me do this. And then over here we have a bathroom. Oh, that's so fun. Kids are in the game menu, but my cart says empty to purchase. Aw, what the heck? I wonder why. <gasps> this is nice. Have you tried reloading your app or anything or refreshing it? Because sometimes that helps, actually. If you guys are coming in on TikTok or Twitch, we are doing random build tours. Welcome on by. Oh, my God. This floor plan is to die for. And then upstairs, I, oh, it's kind of like a landing area, but then it's made into like a little craft area or play area for the kids. The purple and like the yellow with that green, this is such a cute color combination. Oh, that's darling. That's so sweet. Your functional builds aren't, aren't as good as others. It's so hard to make a, like a, a crazy functional build like this. Hi! 
hi crushing this week um but i love you so much and i want to say hi hi justin i hope you're doing okay good to see ya happy thursday you're almost to the weekend hi stream dad <laughs> thank you for the follow welcome on in how the heck are you want to use those purple and green curtains as kids no that is so cute with the purple and like the yellow that is so cute that color combination is to die for this is really nice. I love the nursery with like the little changing table and the, the garbage. The color on the walls and then, oh my God, the main bedroom. This is so sweet. I'm screaming, you guys. I always get so inspired. But then like, does anyone else like it's all, all these ideas in your brain, but sometimes it's like when you sit to draw and your hand won't like do what's in your brain. That's how I feel when I build sometimes. You know what I mean? These colors. Uh, no, Din, um, I don't think The Sims 4 is childish. And I'm really, I feel bad for you because someone in your life told you that you can't enjoy things because I'm 32 and I still love Pokemon. I still love Star Wars and I still love The Sims and I still love the things that make me happy. Um, so I'm really sorry that someone in your life actually told you that you need to grow out of certain things because now I have adult money and I'm able to pursue and still enjoy the things that bring me joy and I get nostalgia out of and one day I want to share with my kids just like my um just like my uh my brother-in-law has done to his kids doing too much oh no honey you're baiting <laughs> you're doing too much Imagine going into TikTok lives and baiting someone and spending your time and wanting a genuine response from somebody and then telling them that they're doing too much. Who's doing too much? <laughs> but honestly, though, um, I like to respond to things like that because. Um, oh, I have hundreds of people in my other channel. It's fine. But like, um. Because it's not to like, it's not to feed into you who's like arguing and baiting, but it's also to someone who might need to hear that. So we talk about like body positivity in our community and everything and how, and how it's so important. Like, I know that you're just here to bait and like make a deal out of something and steal the moment and like distract the stream from the conversation that's going on because that's what you're doing right now. But like... If someone's out there that told them that you can't um that you can't enjoy things then that robs people of joy <clears throat> reaching way into it oh honey it's okay i hope you have a good day and i hope you um do more productive things with your time than like rage bait people <laughs> get out of here it's not childish no i know that they were saying like honestly nine times that was on tiktok live so nine times out of ten when someone is coming into a live and saying something like don't you think this is childish you better ding know that they're trying to like bait you into something <laughs> get well soon casey someone someone was baiting and asked about like, don't you think this game is childish? And then I told them that I, I, I felt sorry for them because someone told them that they can't enjoy the things that bring them joy when they were kids and that you have to like grow out of something. And like, I think that's a very genuine response to that. And if they can't like have the capacity to like all that stuff, like get out of here. <laughs> I'll enjoy. I know. Enjoy what you're doing. Like, I grew up with The Sims. I've been playing it since 2000. Like, and I, I wasn't necessarily, like, responding to them, but also, like, talking about the, those types of things for people who might need to hear that. Because as far as I'm concerned, that person is, like, stuck with whatever they are doing. You know what I mean? Like, they're stuck in their ways. And I'm really sorry for that because growing is cool. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I've uh, never been able to be bullied like that. And I always support loving someone regardless of age, so as long as it hurt other people. Exactly, right? Some people, like My Little Pony, for in instance, has like a really, um, can have, you know, with all things, there can be like super interesting things that happen with that. But like, some people still like that and it's valid. Some people still love Star Wars. Some people still love Pokemon. 
I'm 32 and I'm getting with it. I love it. Sims helps your anxiety. Exactly. It's a very big creative outlet. Also, thank you so much. Welcome on in. Uh, depression spells, right, Jeepers? Exactly. So for that person to come in here and like talk about that and like poke that button when they very well know what kind of response that's going to warrant and then tell me that I'm saying too much. No. <laughs> Rage baiting is saying something in order like specifically to warrant and uh, like uh, a response or get an, a rise out of somebody. So that's what rage baiting is. Um, but yeah, let people enjoy what they want if it isn't hurting anyone. Exactly. 32, you make me feel like a stream now with my age. I love it, Justin. Ah, also, give me a second. Let me mod you over here. I don't think I ever did that for you and Bo, now that I think about it. There you go. I gave you a sword over here now, Justin. <laughs> Rage baiting is just, it's, it's instigating. Imagine being an adult and having issues with other adult hobbies. Exactly. I have ascended. He's dangerous. <laughs> I know. This is so awesome. But like, you know, when someone comes into my stream and calls me fat, be like, congratulations, you have eyes. Is that supposed to offend me? And then we always turn that into like a positive conversation because I don't want someone to sit there and think that that is something that is the worst thing that you can be, you know, or like if you still play a game like The Sims or whatever, that that's not a bad thing. Like you can still enjoy things. And I feel bad because like someone in their life made them feel like that. That was something that they couldn't enjoy anymore. Not the pinned comment. I know, right? <laughs> anyway, welcome. If you're new here, it does, Casey, right? A hundred percent. So like if you're listening and I hope you heard something today that will stick with you in the back of your head. Wash their house out with soap, right? Kill them with kindness. Um, but we're doing random build tours today. Hope everyone is doing well. Also, I should also thank those trolls in TikTok for engagement because like it does help when they type. <laughs> um, but this is such a cute little nursery. Oh, yeah. The best way is you can learn from people around you. A thousand percent, Casey. That is so good. Debug with better build by. There's a filter um, right over here. So like there's actually like a, a special filter when you have better build by installed. It'll like install it mickety that's so nice thank you for the sub i really appreciate it you're so nice welcome on into the beanie weenie club and then there's organized debug that will be in there and then you need to enable that then you need to restart your game and then there's also like a filter so you can see live edit and debug specifically in there and you'll need to enable those morning roly hi creative life stream really that's so cool i hope you're doing good roly Thank you so much for coming by. We're doing build tours. <laughs> oh, yes, not childish, right, Ashy? I know that mushroom painting is so darling. The local women owned gym is to call Glutes 317. I've merged says I only do butt stuff at Glutes 317. <laughs> that is the gym where butt spot goes. Thank you so much, Mickety, for the for the sub, though. That is so kind of you. Yes, this isn't this isn't uh this is not wedding shells. These are just random ones today. I love this, but thank you for being here. Shell builds are next week, Wednesday, Thursday. Communication skills with that situation really encourage me to communicate better towards negativity. Aw, thank you. I feel like some people get mad when you don't, like, just, warm, just be warned, though. Some people will get mad at you if you do not respond the way that they expect you to. Especially if you turn it, like, if you, if you gentle parent them. That's, like... Probably one of the more satisfying moments for me, honestly. Oh, right, tiles in the bathtub too. This is so sweet with this colors. But yeah, like you literally gentle parent people um, can just get mad at me because I only respond in ways I know how. <laughs> how do you do that in a work environment? Um, I'd have to, I'd, I'd have to like, say I'd have to know scenario wise I used to do HR work if that shows at all sometimes sometimes it does um so I would have to see scenario based and then I'd be like oh this is how you could respond kind of thing hi Liv welcome I get so bored of my family so quickly I have a gameplay challenge that we wrote um it really spices things up it's in our discord which is in the link tree in my bio if you want to get in there I wrote a gameplay challenge. It's very good. These decals are from the bathroom kit. 
It's really cute. I have that one, uh, right? Make an emote. That's why. That's also why I love doing shells because then we can like find, like, everything. Like you can find new things that you didn't know were in the game. Like I've have I literally have over ten thousand hours in this game, and I still find new things. Like it's so fun, because everyone just like just plays the game differently. No, they're not live. It's so hard. I am like halfway through the 100 baby challenge and I stopped because of infants. <laughs> they scare me. Haters, uh, they call you a stay at home mom. <laughs> Wait, Umbrella, I love that. That's so fun. Oh my God. This is so sweet though. These colors. I love this cow print with those gentle like tealy aqua colors. Oh my God stores and such so yeah learn how to deal with all kinds of people yes being able to remain calm and communicate things are like in an articulate manner when someone is trying to instigate or el like escalate a situation is such a hard thing especially yeah it happens so much <laughs> it's so crazy those dividers I think those ones are island living those dividers this is like your choice in color is so beautiful. Like I can't even believe this. Yeah, this is um This is Island Living. All right, can we get some hypes and hearts in chat for this beautiful build? Thank you so much for seriously letting me go ahead and uh and tour this bubbles. Your color, like everything, your clutter. Oh my god. Thank you so much for liking the live, by the way. You guys are so nice. I appreciate you. Baby Bean is trying to climb through the dog door. Oh, no. Babies are so crazy, like kids are. That was so good. Sorry for, like, the sidetrack on the conversation, but I will always take a second to denounce people who intentionally attempt to hurt someone else like that or, like, make you feel small. Like, don't you think this is an immature game? You know, or like, don't you think that you're fat? Be like, yes, I know I'm fat kind of thing. Like, I will always take a second to talk about that stuff. And I go on tangents sometimes, but I love making trolls mad. It's my favorite activity. Aren't, Dad, aren't you supposed to be working, right? <laughs> yeah, Justin. <laughs> right, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. How the heck are you? I appreciate that so much. And thank you so much for the rose. Ooh, what are you making for breakfast, Tony? All right, so... If you want your build toured, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the heart puff, puff gift. Um, oh, on a, um, lunch. Yeah, lunch. All right, if you guys would like your build toured, this is any random build. This is not our shells yet. That's next week. Go ahead and type tour, T-O-U-R in chat. This is for um, non, any, anyone. Sub or not, uh, we alternate between tier two and tier three subscribers and uh, like everyone. So we do two different pools. Today is Wednesday, which means that Zephyr, oh my God, am I, I can be like Gandalf now. I can, can make, a, make a troll mad. It is our favorite activity. I love that. Hey, I can't talk. I'm actively not working just because. Thieves, I love it. You crack me up. <laughs> rewards turned off 15k and it didn't seem to work I, I can't see my feed or anything like that hold on let me refresh my little window here the challenge in your discord so uh there's like a little read me section Rolly. um and then it'll show you how to unlock all the channels once you do that but once you do that um there's a section called zeph's challenges and then there's like the jelly bean legacy challenge. There's like a chat for it. And then there's also like a document with everything in there. So I'm currently still kind of like polishing the rules. Uh, just got past it. Nice. Awesome. If you still can't see it, let me know. Cause you might have to like show all the channels. It's Thursday. Oops. My bad. I thought it was Wednesday for a second too. I've been crossing my lines all day. Namaste! What is your gallery ID? Let me know and we'll give you a nice tour. Switch, uh, no worries, Casey. Thank you. <clears throat> Mads, oh my God, I see it now. <clears throat> Are you guys ready? Mads, I see your reward now. Are you guys ready for Richard? Hello? Can everyone say hi to Richard for me? <laughs> Uh, 
Dice is so fun. Yes, it really spices it up. <clears throat> okay. Good. <laughs> That's <laughs> it's working again. Yay! <laughs> I love it. Here you go, Mads. Oh my god, that kills me. Oh my god, the voice changer works. I know it makes me so happy. Sometimes it like messes up, and then I have to restart my computer, but I don't always reboot. Richard, yep. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kay, for the four month sub. I really appreciate that. I don't know, have the kits dropped yet? By the way, <clears throat> we have a message for you. <clears throat> oh my God, there you go, Ashy. <laughs> And I'm so glad to see you. Hold on, if I'm here and we work, we work really hard, then bless us with Crocs. Yes! See, I can see it. I don't know. Where is the... The EA account ID isn't thing. It's not working. Oh. I'm gonna look up Kayla's. Okay, so the gallery is working. There we go. I get it. A pickle emote? I thought about it. Like, so much. And he does yodel. It's amazing. My first time hearing it. Is it really? Oh my God. The gift that keeps on giving. I got this stupid yodeling pickle from my moderators for my birthday. I love it. It's Richard's pickle. Um, that is an interesting phrase to say. Guys, the kids are out and we're still doing tours. I'm going insane. I need the kits. Anyway. Oh my God. Namaste. What do you want me to tour? I'm so excited. Habibi Mosque and Cafe. These are so pretty. Your builds. How do you get your gallery photos to look this good? This is not fair. Oh my God. I lived in Cairo, Egypt when I was younger. This build is inspired by that. The Habibi Mosque and Cafe is a beautiful community location for your, com your Sims to hang out. Cafe on the bottom floor, library, and bubble blower lounge on the second floor. Plenty of lovely outdoor seating. 13 swatches. What? Dude. I know. I can. Oh, my God. So where does this go? 50 by 50? It's got to go in Oasis Springs on that lot. The, the thing. A mosque. I'm so excited. This is beautiful. From, like, don't you dare drag at me with Crocs. <laughs> what do you mean a good time, Justin? Oh my God. I love it though. This is so cute. I'm so excited. A Crocs email. I wish that we had enough slots. I wish so badly. A mosque, isn't it? It is just for Justin. Imagine I get one like and I put it up on his birthday every year or something. I'm excited. I know. Hi, my team. Welcome. We are doing some more tours this afternoon. I hope you're having a good day. We're finishing up the people who didn't get toured on the wheel yesterday and kind of alternating between the two. Oh, the pickle does not look like a pickle. Right. I know. I don't think I've ever seen a Sims mosque before either. Threaten is such a mean word. Do you mean bless your toesies with heaven? Yes. It, th listen, it's like the Crocs are vented for optimal comfort. You know? I'm actually make a restaurant. Oh, like a little cafe. I'd love a Turkish or North African world. Too many beautiful builds uh, have to be wedged in Oasis Springs, right? That would be really awesome if we could get something like that too. Uh, stash. I'm wishing if we could get like a travel expansion pack and then it comes with like two or three worlds that are like smaller. I think that would be neat. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I'm really scared because this is taking a while. The Discord link isn't working. Um, Try copying and pasting it, Limbo. For some reason, it like it'll work when people copy and paste it versus like just clicking. It's weird. Optimal airflow shoes. Share the scent with everyone. Sharing is caring. It is. 
I would pay the full $40 like that. Exactly stinker about like the full, like the Sims 3. I agree. I wish that we had like a better travel system for sure. Infinity, I'm with you. Guys, I'm freaking going insane right now. Do I restart my game? Oh my God. Okay. So I'm going to restart my game really fast and ads are going to play in like 50 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and play those and then we're going to reload the game. And then we will be right back. Hold tight. So thank you. Thank you. Roll that beautiful um, baby footage. We won't start tours until we're back. Oh it, uh, yeah. It's a big build, but sometimes I get stuck in like a loading. Like purgatory kind of loop like this loading the lot first yes um that is typically where i have less problems and stuff like if i load the the lot and then i place it like typically i have less issues like that oh, let's go ahead and reload my game because i have a solid state hard drive that i run the sims off of so it should be like it's literally like usually seconds where i have builds come in it's like come on so i know that i get stuck in that weird loop if it's longer usually like a minute or longer some tweaks to your shell build oh my god please do i'm so excited um i wonder if the creator network is going to give me the the code yet because sometimes they've been like a little bit slow on giving up like issuing the codes for us like lately it's been like hours or even like a day later Okay. All right, they don't have them yet. Uh, every five or so lot loads and I have to restart. Oh man, right? I know it's so weird, Sash. It's been happening a lot more recently since like four rent has been a thing. I don't know. I'm, I'm really glad that the uh the developers have like a team that they've assembled to specifically focus on like bug fixes and stuff nowadays which has been really nice to see i'm glad that their team has that support like i am all for it um the new kits look so pretty i'm so excited uh, after this build do we want to go look at the kits and then come back to tours because I really want to. I want to look at the new kids. I'm actually really excited. I know. I don't know why. Actually, Stinker Bell, I really genuinely wonder if it was like, if they saw a decrease in pack sales because of the bugs. Because people stopped buying packs because of that. I genuinely, like, we were talking about this yesterday. Like, I genuinely wonder if that is something that, like, impacted that. Maybe notice less people playing, right? Because the bugs were just so bad uh, for some people. Like, I personally was one of those people that didn't really get impacted by a lot of them. But, like, some of those bugs were so bad for some people that it was, like, unplayable, right? Exactly. And now they have the login bonus thing. So I don't think that's happenstance, personally. I'm going to be real. Hey! Thank you! Seven months! Thank you so stinking much for the seven months page. That is so nice. Yes, it is real, Morgan. Um, the login, yeah, the login thing this morning. So yeah, they have like a five or four or five week like cycle. And then if you log in, you can get stuff. Ah, <sighs> right, exactly. This is so nice. Oh my God, this is absolutely stunning. So this is a mosque and a cafe. Oh my God. This is so cool. I really like that. I like the little entryway area. Oh, that's cute. Like the little fountains, the car. It's like a little roundabout thing. So you can drive in and out. That's if you can log in, right? I know this is really pretty. I love the pools. They're like little mini oasis pool things. This is gorgeous. Oh my God. And there's like a little hot spring. 
the gardens everywhere i know a little like uh there's like a beverage thingy right there fountains oh that's pretty i like the the archway thing uh also don't have that time yes exactly so like even people who don't have money to buy packs also don't have the time to deal with the bugs too so remember that as well it's like something out of a movie right it really does look like something out of a movie doesn't it a buggy game is just not good exactly a buggy game no matter what was just not a good thing this is so cool i love all the little fire pit areas too This is awesome and it goes up. Oh, so this is all like on a, a nice little foundation. These archways everywhere. And they have like the, oh my God. Whose building is this? This is Namaste MJ. So this is a mosque and a cafe. Prompting them to actually care and fix uh, problems. Not saying it's good. Right, exactly, I see. I know this is really unique. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. Like, I don't think we've ever toured anything like this before. This is so cool. The windows on the back and like the roof with the giant towers and everything. Functional as well. Is this functional? Wow, I love all the little details, like the roofing and like the little, oh my God, on the top. This is so cool. Okay, let's go in. Beautiful, right? I like the little entryway. Then there's like some archways here. Modern royalism setting up. Oh my God. Gotta run, but I really enjoyed the stream. More of a lurker streams the background is released after a long day at uni. Bye, Rikal. I'll see you later. I'm live again tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central. Go back to Egypt. I've never been to Egypt before, but I would love to be able to try that or go somewhere. How to lobby non-functional. Basically, if there's like items like uh, the cafe area, um, they place things for aesthetic and not functionality, like the way you might layer something or whatever. It just ends up not being playable. Um, this is so cool. Like, I love the breezeway thing with all these tables. The textures and the colors are just stunning. Takes several times to re uh, restarting the EA app just to get in. Right. I know some people are having a lot of login issues like that. This is so cool. <gasps> Ooh, I wanna come back here. We're gonna look at this cafe area real fast, but I love how it goes down. And then it, there's like the cafe area here. What is the sign? The piping pot? I don't think I've ever seen this before. This is from City Living. Oh my God, that is perfect for this build. The little ottomans in the windows. Purely aesthetic builds. Exactly. They're amazingly beautiful, but not functional to plan. Exactly. Yep. So for instance, I don't think that these chairs might be functional, potentially. There's potential that they might be, but they're in technically outside, like in the wall, just because the way the window goes, like that's a good explanation of it. This is so awesome. The little like tip jar thing. And the conversation pit, like just like the big cozy couches everywhere. Oh my God. Morocco for a little while, definitely has similar vibes. That's so cool. Making me read on that all 37 packs and stuff I have. What? Really? Uh-oh. I hope that doesn't take too long. I know, light, right? And then um, there's like a big staircase here, but I love the bathrooms. And then there's like a little door that goes off on the side. Builds it down though when the game comes back online. Yes, it's so pretty. This one is by Namaste MJ on the gallery. I posted it in chat for you guys. <gasps> oh my God, the layered rugs and just all the colors and textures. This is like the bubble lounge. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. How are you? And then there's like a little, uh, ooh, like a little cleaning area up here in the tower. Then it goes up. Oh, is this like a place where like, on um, like announcements, like what is this for? That's so cool. I assume this might be like a part of the mosque, like functionality, I suppose, perhaps, and how that might work. A minaret, uh, a min is it a minaret or minaret? 
prayers. Oh, call for prayers. Got it. Okay. I thought it might have been like a mosque related thing. That makes sense. Ooh. Thank you for the TikTok follow, by the way. Welcome on in. A prayer singing five times a day at broadcast. Ah, that's neat. Ooh. The mosaic on the floor. And like the beautiful marbled floors. That really looks quite good together. I like the different archways, like how some of these are closed, but then the door is like the window shutter thingies are here or like the archway. I know the attention to detail is just so good. I know I really love this. This is beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen anything similar to this before. Wow. And then there's, oh, beautiful things in the tower here. Christian churches use bells to make important marks of the day. Islam uses collars. Ah, that's really interesting and really cool to like know. You know what I mean? Like to learn that about different cultures and stuff. This is neat. I like the little entryways on the left and the right, like the beautiful fountains and stuff. I always find that cities like this are just so beautiful. They just have like a certain like beauty to them. A bird tower. Oh, maybe that actually would make sense because the little bird perches or something and stuff. Yeah, it's a flock of wild birds. So it is a, a bird tower, it seems. And it would make sense because of the windows being right there, like in theory, you know. That's really cool. I know, such a cool layout. Can we get some hypes and hearts in chat? This is very much unlike anything I have seen before. Wow, okay, birds come in and out of the windows or open holes. That's so cool. I love it. Feels like it would have some friendly cats wandering around. Yes, I think it mentioned something about cats in the description. Hi, Sparrow, welcome on in. That was so cool. I don't think I've ever seen a build like that before. I wanna look at the kits now. Before microphones, what if I had the breath control of opera singers, right? Just thinking about like, I wonder if their buildings were created back in the day before microphones in such a way where like, it, when you project your voice, like the echoes off of the buildings or something, you know? Because like, Ancient society was so ahead of their time with certain things because they had to make do with what they had, you know, in that way. So, oh, nice Casey and at home nail salon. That's exciting for sure, right? I do wonder if buildings and like the cities were created in such a way to be able to like project certain ways, like for the call for prayer and whatever. Or I wonder if sometimes maybe theoretically, like if they might have several people who like hear it and then like call out from a certain area kind of thing from like a different area curved walls behind stages exactly yep so the sound would like project outward like that hi nina good to see you we just looked at the coolest mosque build that was really nice raya welcome back more packs that are not europe american european based i would love that too i know like the majority of their teams are like european and american and stuff so i would love to be able to see more disable mods without being in the game there is not unfortunately um not disabling them but if you remove your mods folder with your game boot like deleted and booted down um if that makes sense uh like if, without your game open if you cut and paste your mods folder out that is the only way that you can do it without disable your mods without being in the game see like I've been having issues with like loading lately. Like the last couple of days, it's been super, basically since the patch, really. So I'm going to get myself the new kit. So give me just a second. Discord link gives you a privacy error. Oh no, yes, absolutely. I will a thousand percent get you. Thank you, Limbo. Sorry if I missed another message when you asked that. I can absolutely get that for you. Give me a second here. All righty. Um, this should be a good Discord invitation link for you. We want to get into our discord ancient churches have built some amazing acoustics and sermons and music would carry yes and like just that sound is so pretty thank you for the follow by the way welcome on in 
I am restarting my app and we are going to look at the kits right now because the kits just dropped. So give me just a sec here, friends. More and after in Discord, absolutely. Like to see some Africa inspired stuff. I would love to see that too. Feels like the Courtyard Oasis kit is the only thing in that direction so far. Yes, I was like so excited when I saw the Courtyard Oasis kit. I still haven't like made anything in that like architectural inspiration yet, but I would love to give like try my hand at it. The only build that I've really done is like that's even remotely close to that is uh, the Caliente household and did like a whole base game thing with it. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to buy the kits. Give me a second here, friends. I'm going to change my screen to this. Want to play Build Babylon? That would be so awesome. Oh, my God. Imagine. There we go. Sorry, I was like thinking um, time to work. Sadly, no. I'll see you later, Elena. Thank you for being here. Uh, mostly startling, um, the city soundscapes of the, is the, the din of children just packs scream of screaming children in ancient cities before mandatory schooling cities, like playgrounds, right? No, that's so cool though. Like that's such an interesting, like perspective, you know, just kids playing everywhere. It sounded like playgrounds. I just sent a scary text to my supervisor and now I'm scared. Uh oh. Uh, bisexual and pansexual. Yes. Um, so bisexuality and pansexuality are kind of like in a similar umbrella. So people who are pansexual might also identify as bisexual at the same time. Um, so bisexuality, uh, cause remember like attraction is a, is a spectrum and bisexuality, they have a tendency to have more like attraction towards people who fit the gender binary. Whereas like pansexual people don't really care about that at all it's just like anybody the way that i would describe it in my own experience is that pansexuality is like i'm attracted to like your soul and you as a person because like people can have preference on uh genitalia people can have preferences on like presentation like whatever and that depends and um it just it's a spectrum for a lot of different people but it's kind of like an umbrella i guess is the best way to describe it but that's a great question though um, gotta go for now. Bye. See you later, Megster. Also, thank you for the follow. How the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. Nice to see ya. Welcome on in. Uh, that's all we ever want is to be loved and respected no matter what. Right? Exactly. So like that doesn't mean though, um, that how do I want to say? It does not mean that bisexual people are like transphobic, for instance, or something like that or they don't want to date someone non-binary or something like that. Like, it doesn't, that doesn't mean that. It just means that, like, your sexual attraction or romantic attraction might be a little more towards the gender binary kind of thing. Uh, different pan and bi. Yes. Yep. So it's kind of, it's, it's an umbrella. Um, so, like, I can identify as pan and bi. Both can be true for me personally. So pansexuality is a little less, prevalent if that makes sense um but a little less common my pan woo! yeah it's a little less common so people have a tendency to like just say bisexual or bi pan or something like that easier to explain right exactly <laughs> yep in certain scenarios i definitely like say that i oh i'm just bi or whatever blah 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 kind of thing but i'm also demisexual too uh which is you like in order for me to feel like sexual towards somebody or sexual feelings towards someone, I have to have that deep emotional connection to somebody. And that is not true for everybody. 
um, some people are like, oh, that's just normal. And I'm like, that is not a normal experience that people have. <laughs> so Demi is on the ace spectrum. Uh, Pan just makes more sense. To be honest, I'd rather someone be attracted to my soul rather than my vessel. Exactly. And that's it. Queer because there's so many labels that someone fit me, but not completely. Exactly. And that is so valid, too. That really is. I know so many people that that like identify as queer for that reason, just because they don't fit that. They don't think that anything fits them. Uh, this is why I use the generic term queer for myself. Exactly. Asexual, panromantic, polypositive. Right. Exactly. It depends on like your space and like who you're with. That would depend on like how in depth of that conversation you want to get. Because in, in, in all in all respects, like some people are a lot more comfortable educating and other people are like, do your own edu do your own like research kind of thing. Like and that's all super valid. Unlabeled. It's been a year. Right. I get it. And you are so valid, even if you don't feel like you fit under an umbrella. Um, as Pride Month comes up uh, on Saturday in a few days. Um, remember that even if you're not out, you are still valid. For Pan for 15 years now, right? Arrow Spectrum? Romance is not really my thing, but I uh, but I will do the do of your hot, right? <laughs> yeah, it can vary for so many people. So we're checking out the new kits, by the way, everybody. I am so excited. Okay, where do we even begin? I'm going to start on the right, and then we're going to work our way left. So we do not, it does not appear that we have a new water color. <gasps> Wash your hair, I'll see you soon. I don't know where the year has gone. We're already like halfway through. It's crazy. Um, we don't have anything under these decorations. We do have some fountain things. This is like a wall fountain. This one can sit somewhere. This one is a fountain. And then this one is a fountain too. Oh my God. It's nearly Christmas at this point. I agree. Ooh, okay. So swatches guys. All those good, oh my God. So you can really quite literally. Um, so we have two kits. We have the ba the bistro one, and then there's a a pool, like pool themed one. More of a build by for the pool. I'm excited about this. I like that. Butt spot, so rude. New holiday just dropped, butt miss. Oh no. Dude, this is so sweet. I like the the different um, swatches for the for the rocks and stuff. <gasps> These ones have some metallic swatches on it. This looks like it's uh, a light. It's a pool light. That's really cool. I know I'm in love. So we have a new ladder. I'm going to put down a pool. So we don't have a new water tone, but we do have this new ladder. This is really nice. I like the wooden swatches on it. I know I wonder why new watercolor exactly I'm curious about that too this is the uh, Riviera retreat or something let me double check yeah Riviera retreat um is the pool stuff it does look realistic I like it um ooh, we have two new trims I know I can't wait to see all the grottos imagine the lazy rivers with those fountains you guys Oh my God. We have two new trims. I like those pebbles too. Oh. Ooh. I like it. Oh my God, Lizzie! Thank you for the one year. Oh my God. Thank you, Lizzie. Lurky lurk mode going into a meeting, but I noticed it's resub day. Thank you so much. Welcome on in. I hope your meeting goes well. I love. So we have two new um like swatches for the trim. A water park. That is so cool. Yeah, you could raise pools so you can make above ground pools. You can attach decks to them. So like, you know how some people have like above ground pools, but they have like a deck. So then you're like, you can walk up and like jump into the pool from the deck. Oh yeah, you can do that. Um, It's a foundation. The green pebbles. I know it's so good. 
Yeah, you can totally do it. Um, I've made several above ground pools and like some builds that we've done since when? Since forever. <laughs> since pools have existed. Yeah, this is like this is something you could have always done. So this is not new. Like I've I've made builds like this before. Um, but like straight up. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit tricky because like you got to match it up properly. But yeah, you can make like a deck that goes up to the pool and you can like do this. Oh yeah, easy. You never knew that. Oh my god, it's so fun. Um And like You can do foundation. Imagine. Okay, there you go. Boom. You got your deck. Fun. Cute. You can even change the foundation on the pool if you want to. Uh, on my current build, I love it. Yeah, you can you can do it. I hope you guys have fun with that. The rock fountain snapped to the side of the pool. Do they really? Oh my god, let's try. <gasps> oh, they do. I like it. They snap to it. That is so nice. That looks so good, you guys. Oh my god, yes. That's good. All right, so we have this awning. This one is with the Bistro one. I'm actually going to filter and do like the Riviera Retreat one first. Ooh, Riviera Retreat has a, a nice arch, you guys. Oh, that's, yeah, it's an arch. And then we don't have any windows. There are a couple wallpapers. Oh, my God. The Rock Fountain, these are from the new, uh, the new kit that just came out, Riviera Retreat. If you come onto my Twitch channel, um, I will be doing giveaways. I don't have the codes today, but I'll be doing a giveaway, I think, tomorrow. Um, assuming when they, whenever they give me the code for it. <gasps> Guys, these are so good. new window in Riviera Retreat or is it the new one the Bistro one those are so nice hello backsplash exactly oh oh yeah oh oh currently rushing to my sims yes there's two new kits that literally just dropped today um they're awesome they're both build by I'm a builder so like yes oh we've got another oh my god you guys Those are so good. They come with all the nice, like, the rock tones that you can pretty much see in every single, like, pack. Okay, they gave us that purpley one that goes well with For Rent, by the way, you guys. There's, like, that purpley, that purpley gray color. Plaster one in the law for Clement. It does. That's a good brick. I really like that. That's going to look really nice with a lot of different packs, y'all, because it comes in a broad variety of colors, too. The Desert Oasis one. Uh, we don't have any foundations that came with this, nor do we have any uh, platform trims. So we don't have any of those. We do have... Oh, my God. Uh... Don't mind me. Oh my God. Ah! That's good. Those are really pretty. I like those. So you could use these in the pool. Obviously you can use these wherever the heck you want. Oh my God. I like how they don't look perfect. They like, they have like some texture to them too. They're like kind of beat up and stuff. That's really nice. We do have a lot of tiles in this game, though. I know those swatches are really nice. They even have, like, the pink one. Oh, my God. I know the, the glossy is good. I like that. That's so pretty. 
No roof trim or anything. Let's go here under this. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. We have a lot of items, you guys. Okay, by the way, this arch does come with um, all the good swatches for, like, the stone. Oh, yeah. Okay, ooh. Okay, ooh. <gasps> oh my God, they're kind of like the woven, you know, oh my God, I swear to God, my grandma had chairs like this. They're like woven. A non-hideous lounger, I literally love it. Those are some really good swatches. Okay, check those out. The red, I know that red is really pretty. It's like a burgundy wine color almost. Those are beautiful. I really, really like the textures on those. This looks like custom content, you guys. But Sims packs, so valid though, Scarecrow. That looks like CC, like straight up. This is Riviera Retreat. So this is the brand new kit that just dropped like really recently. <gasps> they have like the little towel stand thingy. Like you, like a little table expansion this summer i'm excited to see what kind of like expansion we're getting does anyone have any theories what did i miss we're checking out the new kit stuff today it does look like custom content Ooh, it's on a silver platter drink tray Ooh, uh, that's cute a sims pack question will be on your final right imagine yes if you're this is so cute got some good metallic tones on it there's like a white one silver like some brassy ones that is a really nice fire pit I love that that feels really nice uh we're looking at the new river Riviera retreat pack, uh, kit that just came out we have a new pool floaty you guys it looks really expensive and nice that's really cute Drinks to the tray. Oh, you can add drinks to the tray so it's functional. Is that what you're saying? So, like, you can play it. <gasps> it's like a little lemon tree. That's cute. I like that. Uh, Paris City of Love and all that. But with today's kit, I don't know, right? I'm so curious. I know that plant is really nice. I like the skinny ones. They're good for, like, corners and, like, up next to stuff like that. I love tall skinny ones. Um, I think it's more of like a lemon tree, maybe. It's Essence of Bergamo Planter. So it's a Bergamo plant. Hi, Sulu, welcome on in. We're checking out the new, uh, oh my God, the new kit. Oh, yeah. I know I want more vacation destinations, too. Citrus and Earl Grey tree. Ah, got it. That is really nice looking. It's Wimslept Cabana curtains. Pairs nicely with a rustic Riviera arch. It does. You could use this with any arch, basically. I know, De Decades Challenge? Basically, Blup, isn't that right? Oh, my God. I like, oh my God, we have rocks. Kaz, where's Kaz? We have new rocks. There's a few here. Oop. There's like a big one and a small one. And they all have those nice swatches too. Perfect sticker, literally. I want to play with my digital dolls now, thank you. Right? No, for sure. I'm right there with you. You've been excused. Vacation honeymoon, but more Spain, not France, right? I wonder. I'm so curious about that, Jamie. Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't hate these swatches, too. Like, and it has ivy. You guys see the ivy swatches? That for weddings, literally. Imagine little like garden parties. That is really pretty. 
They've been so consistent with their metallic tones too. Cat, oops, hi cat. <laughs> Vacation, I want a neighborhood, right? I know, we haven't had a destination world in a while though. I would be really curious to see if we have a destination world. <gasps> I caught it! I called it. We have pavers. Oh my God. Uh, I'm so excited. No more debug, literally. Uh, I don't think we'll build with the kits today, no, but like, cause I'm already working on another build and I don't want to start another one. The color, I know not just the color changes. Yes, it changed. There's like two different varieties per one. I'm so excited. So those pavers that you get in base game, they're only like that cool toned gray. So now you can get like a warm toned, like brownish gray, black. Oh my God, I'm so excited. There's a candelabra thingy. And then there's also, oh, mint citrus nectar. We have a new drink, you guys. So there's mint citrus nectar that comes on this tray that you can make with this. By the way, Twitch is gonna play ads in a second. I'll be right back. Hi, Cammy, welcome on in. How are you? Roll they snuck up on me. Sorry like. about that, guys. Um, an advancement of Romantic Garden. It is. It, it's like Romantic Garden stuff pack walked so this pack could run. You know what I mean? This is really good. Like, they'd better stop. One of the curtains on the huge pergola and it matches perfectly. What? Ooh. <gasps> Same as the other one we have already. Um, it's not, it is different. It's got like the little scallopy thingies on it. Game changer, that's so cool. You can put these all together like this. Those swatches are so cute. So these curtains, they, they fit perfectly with this. So you can like use move objects on to like place some curtains on here. So you want it to feel like a little more like private, you can add some curtains onto it or like to decorate it up a little bit more, but that is so cute. I'm dying. How adorable. Ooh, right? They did it on purpose. They had to have, I swear. Well, it's, it's the size of like an archway. So it's like a walkway. Lala, thank you. Oh my God. Thank you so much for the eight months. Pillars, that's a great question. It does not look like we have any pillars with a specific kit. Uh, no pillars with this one, but the, the build buy items, the build items that we got with this pack are uh, two wallpapers and a floor pattern and an archway. But we don't have any pillars, unfortunately. That would be awesome if we got pillars. Like one that went with that. But like, I think that the uh, the castle kit would look really good with this one too. Um, Like definitely would recommend that for sure. So we have like 20 seconds left on ads, but we are going to check out the new Riviera, not the, uh, the Cozy Bistro one is what we're gonna look at. Entrepreneur. Oh, really? Oh my God, you just realized it's, I mean, I could, I could see how that could be hard to like hear though. What's up, Salamander? How you doing today? Good to see you. <gasps> I'm so excited. This is so cute. I'm literally like stoked for this. I wanna go ahead, I'm gonna like put this all the way back here because we have some wallpapers to look at. All right, we're back from ads, guys. Sorry those snuck up on me. Okay. 
Ooh, these ones feel very like art deco to me. They do have pink because of course they do. <gasps> that burgundy one. Why does this feel like Sims one to me in like the best way? <gasps> that railing, you guys like that brass railing that's on the top of that. That is really nice. Okay, so they have, these are on tall walls, by the way. So this is what it's gonna, oh my God, be princess, thank you. Thank you so much for 10 months. How are you? I really appreciate that. Welcome on in. That is amazing. I really, really, really appreciate you. How you doing? Ah, we have a window. Okay, look at the window. Ooh, wait, okay, okay. I have a mission. I'm on a mission. Oh, that's green. On a mission. Okay, wait. I'm not doing a very good job of this. Don't let this determine anything. I'm not doing a good job, but it's fine. I'm trying. I'm just going through. Okay. But like, it looks like we have matchies for just about everything. There's these ones. I can't tell if this is like a light pink. Oh no, it's white. Okay. So it's all white. And then we have one with like gold trim on it. I know those would look really good on a Victorian style build. And this is what it looks like. Um, tall wall put up a little bit if you want. That is nice. I know, Kaz, the new uh, Riviera Retreat Pack. We have two new rocks, by the way, and rock fountains. <gasps> Bye, Newberger. I'll see you later. Thank you so much again. Ooh. I like this. This is so cute. Those are really pretty. That is so nice. I like that. I know I have to build some restaurants. Literally, though, Victorian shop front. It really is. It, it This would fit very well with Victorian themed things. Ooh, I know I would love that for a store as well. OK, so we have um a tile again. I'm really glad we're getting tiles, but I feel like we've had a lot of tile recently. Jody, uh, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Kaz. That's so nice. Kaz, welcome on in. You're so nice. Oh my God. You guys could even use this for our wedding themed shell, by the way. Like I have the kits, so an old timer pizza place. Yes, they do remind you of that, don't you? Uh, Liv, we are kind of, we're looking at the new swatches from the kit. Uh, so this is the Cozy Bistro kit, and they also came out with Riverside Riv Riviera. This is so cool. I love these tiles, but I feel like they've had a lot of tiles recently. Has anyone else felt that way, too? Diamond tiles are doing quarter tiles. I'm lazy, but uh, my lazy bones are grateful, right? Look at how pretty that is. That does look really nice. You could probably even, like, still use these to to make something else if you wanted to somehow. Actually, rotating it isn't really doing a lot like I thought it was going to, but you can totally do something and mix and match those. I know I would love more hardwood. That's true, the older tiles are bad. I would agree with you on that one. Bigger tiles, the most tiles, smaller ones. That is true too, Rose. Thank you for the follow, welcome on in. Um, so what? Different colors. Yeah, lots of tile floors, but no tile wallpaper. Right. Oh, my God. Oh, I was really hoping we would get these. These are like the classic French bistro style, like cafe style. Um, like chairs. Those are really cute. 
What is the new shell? It's a wedding themed shell. It's due next week. Um, like a wedding venue. Made the grout on the tiles so bright white. Yes, that's actually that is fair too. Like make them a little off white instead of like super stark white. This is so nice. <gasps> okay, so this is like a it's a dining booth. It's a dining booth that's not huge. You guys. Wait. It like still has the same floor print, but it's like not as big, bulky. It feels significantly smaller. It's not as bulky. Because these are some other dining booths that we have. This one is about the same size. But I just feel like it has a different vibe to it. It's like more sleek. Yes, it doesn't look like from the 90s. Exactly. It is so much nicer. I'd say that looks really good. Okay, I like that. New one as a couch. Yes, I could totally see that being used as a couch. Uh, the other lounge in the Riviera pack. I don't think I saw it. I did. There's a pool floaty and then there's like a lounger. They're really cool, Emmy. This table, I really like. Ooh, look at the checker pattern. The Batu is Batu is actually really good. Journey to Batu. I like it for the for the build by. Some people like the gameplay. I'm not so fond of it, but like yes. Uh built-in couch, the reading kit. That'd be awesome. That would be a really good idea, Jen. That'd be a nice way to do it because it doesn't have arms on it. <gasps> oh, so this one is uh it's a bar back. That's cute. And then there's also a larger bar back. They don't clip together, thank God. You can create your own custom like size bar back, you guys. That's nice. Ooh. Oh my God. That pink. I like these textures. And like the way the countertop is, that is so cute. I could see this being used in like a bakery. Kind of looks like a sofa, but I like it, right? I know, doesn't it, Rose? Fairies, I really would love for them to give us fairies. I, I want it. Yeah, it does look like a soda jerk fountain, doesn't it? You know, uh, Michael is a really big hockey person, and I was talking about because they... Uh, Utah got a new, like a hockey team. I think they moved from Arizona and they moved them up to Utah. And I thought that like the Utah jerks for like the soda jerks would have been like a really good thing. Cause like they, like we have coffee shops here. They have soda places in Utah. Um, And Michael had never heard of what, like didn't know what a soda jerk was. And I was like, well, this is no fun. I, in a medieval world, exactly. A, yeah, swig, isn't it? Isn't that what it's called or something? That's what I thought so, Mickey. <clears throat> uh, Sims Free Play uh, multiplayer. I have never played Sims Free Play. I'm not sure. They do because they can't drink hot beverages, I believe is what it is. I think. Pat, thank you so much. These are so cute. Very 1920s. Like, I love these posters. Thank you so much for the two months, Salamander. That is so nice. Uh, the new rewards event they gave us. I feel like it's really weird and base game builds are going to get really interesting because of the fact that like those items are base game. Exmo here in Utah. Uh, there is no, yeah, right. Coffee's a no, no. Yes. That's what I heard too. I think those, those like soda things are so interesting though. Thank you so much for the follow, by the way. Welcome on in. This mirror is really cute. This is so classy. There's a, a lot of these items would look really good with Victorian age stuff, you guys. <gasps> this window curtain. That's really cute. It's like, oh my God. That's adorable. Yes, exactly, Stinkerbell. Oh my God, that's gonna be so good. 
Oh, it's like a, it's a little divider for like your booths and stuff. And it's kind of like gently see-through. So you can see through it a little bit. Uh, Valance to match. I don't think so. I think that's the only one. We don't have like a longer, a longer, like a short little like middle piece or anything. I think that's all we have. Ooh. We have a nectar rack that hangs from the ceiling. It's a valance. <laughs> I don't remember anything. <laughs> Old Victorian house. It is giving grandma's Victorian house, isn't it? No, I don't remember anything. You definitely did. I don't remember crap. <laughs> I remember we like Googled it and everything. This ceiling thingy is so cool. It's like a nectar rack. Oh, a sentimental bottle of nectar. So there's actually clutter. Valens, I think so. Victorian tea house. That would be so pretty, Cyan. So there's a bottle clutter. And then there's also, it's a menu thing with like two little wine glasses on it. That's cute. And oh, it's a oh, my God. It's a menu panel and it looks like the the windows, you guys. And. Oh, that's darling. That's cute. Bottle to slot the horse ranch items, I wonder. bistro sign oh that's so cute look at the little signs and stuff you guys those are really nice this is so awesome this stuff is gonna look really good uh you can use pool trims on fountains can you i'm not sure that you can but i've never tried <gasps> yes jessica that's exciting upload lots of these packs i am not sure darby that's a good question so many ideas for the shell. This would look really good with the shell that we're doing right now. Our shell is due uh, next week, Wednesday and Thursday. We have this adorable little metallic lamp. Comes with all the good metallic tones we've been seeing. Um, and then we also have a, a little uh, a light fixture. Small changes to your shell. Nice. I can't wait to see what you guys implement. Four new packs. I want this so bad. I'm afraid to download. My game is already so bad. Aw. They've been doing a lot of like bug fixes and stuff. So I hope we'll see some good things coming through soon. <gasps> a new coffee maker that doesn't look really stupid. Wait. Oh, there's also a I just noticed this shelf too. We have a new shelf, you guys. That's cute. How to find the shell, it's on the gallery. You can check out um, my gallery. It's Zephyrin TTV if you'd like it. By the way, I gotta take off my hype train hat. Thank you guys for the hype train, by the way. This is so sweet. It's like, I wanna check out that coffee maker in just a second. But I need to find a, um, this. I need to find like a little something to throw it on. And we're gonna go under Cozy Bistro. That's so cute. It's like a, it's like an old fashioned like drip style one like you'd find in like an old diner or something like that. That's adorable. It's called, it's just a coffee maker. That's nice. That's cute. Because I don't think we had any like good coffee makers before. Like. I think that was it. I think we had like these really basic looking ones and then there was like espresso stuff. And then this one. Which is like your standard coffee maker. And then there's like this cute one now. Parents have in the kitchen. That's nice. That's so cute. You're downloading the Beast Your Kit now. It's nice. I'm excited about the, like, these items. Yes, I was going to say this pack would go really good with good, with, really good with get together, especially with all the, the different swatches and stuff. I think from uh, high school years, it's also going to be really good with these wood tones, especially these pink ones. I think you're going to have a lot of luck with that. Um, get together for rent. I think you guys should have like zero problems mixing and matching this kit. 
either of them, honestly. That's one thing. That was like, if you if you spend any bit of time in this community or uh, or any, any bit of longevity in this community, um, you will know that like back in the day, one of my biggest qualms with items in Build Buy is that the swatches were always like, mismatched like they the browns wouldn't match they didn't have like a good white swatch a good black swatch everything was just kind of like it didn't really like fit together but now um they've really like found their stride in like continuity through the swatches and stuff sometimes so for instance in for rent you had like a purpley brown color and like this yellow or like a reddish tone that was unique to that pack, but then everything else kind of fit everything else. And that's totally fine. Where they have ones that are like pack specific and really fit into that. And then everything else kind of matches. And that is where they really found their swatch or found their stride with the swatches. But I'm just saying, oh my God, I sing my high praises with them. And I'm someone who builds like primarily and everything I would say. Oof. So, oh my God. So we have about 10 minutes until ads are going to play again, you guys. Um, We have two people on the wheel left to do for some build tours. So we're going to do the build tours on there. We're going to spin this wheel and we're going to do one build uh, for random drawing and then wheel spin and then end there. So three more tours um, is what we're going to do. So I'm going to play some ads. Because they're going to play in like 10 minutes. We're going to get ahead of the game. And I shall return. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Wheel of Tours. Nice. You just updated it. I love it. And then I don't think that I have... The EA Creator Network still hasn't given me codes or anything like that yet. So... But um, I'm hoping that I will be able to get them like tomorrow. Oh, wait. I actually have them. Um, I think we'll start our giveaways tomorrow and then I'll have some giveaways to do over the next few days of these kits. So you guys are going to want to tune into my streams. Arlanda, welcome. Good to see you. So I actually uh, will be streaming tomorrow. Yes, two kits were, were released today. They're really good, Mel. Um, they're really good. It's Bayside, or no, Cozy Bistro and Riviera Retreat. Uh, miss you playing the sims ah oh, sam i'm so glad to see you how are you how are tiktok friends doing i hope everyone's doing well we checked out the new kits so tomorrow um we'll have a giveaway of one of the new codes for the kits um we're also i'm also gonna go live early tomorrow um so earlier than 10 a.m central and then we're gonna do like a little co-working session to kind of start our day and then we're going to play the sims after that um, and then actually I do have to leave at 1 30 PM. Uh, so like a half an hour early on Monday and all that, uh, because I have an appointment for like wedding consultation stuff. Cause she had either like noon or like 2 PM every day, pretty much. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll do two. <laughs> the new mirror clips. Wait, it clips with what? Oh my god, currently pregnant with another on the way. That's so exciting. Oh my god, congratulations. How far along? Together? Oh, they clip together. Oh, so you can make like a big long mirror. That's cool. Thank you so much for the follow and the likes, by the way. I'm also live on Twitch if you are um if you're here on TikTok. If you are a Twitch person, my link tree is in my bio. Or if you just want to hang out on TikTok, I'm right here too. So thanks for hanging. Six weeks and four days. That's so special. So my boyfriend and I, we got engaged in early May. We've been planning a wedding. I don't have my engagement ring on right now because I'm not used to like grabbing it yet, but it's by my bedside. <laughs> so we're engaged. We got a puppy and we're planning a wedding. And that's very exciting. Things are going really well. Aw, thank you. We've been dating for four years, but we've known each other for like 12, I think. Thank you, Cammie. I appreciate that. Thank you, Mickety. That's awesome, though. I love it. Puppy name Babu. So after Babu Frick from Star Wars, my favorite pack, Growing Together, hands down. It has really good gameplay. Um, it like makes the game alive. And then the build by and the create a sim and the world is all super good. Like... Growing together is like V-Pack. It's that she's that girl, basically. 
Oh my God. So guys, all right, we are back from ads. This recording is in partnership with the EA Creator Network. You can have some kit giveaways tomorrow, co-working session earlier than 10 a.m., and then Sims as a little treat afterwards for being good people and being productive and good. Aw, oh, 30 weeks with a girl that won't stop beating you up. Oh my gosh. Future dancer, perhaps? I love that though, be princess. Aw. I hope the rest of your pregnancy goes well. That's very exciting. I love babies. All right, so we're gonna spin this wheel. I know I'm such a crier too, Elle. I'm so scared. I'm like, oh my God, my makeup artist better set my makeup real good. Ashy! Yay! And then it's gonna be Raya after that. I know, oh my God, it's gonna be so hard though because like my dad passed away in 2022, I think it was. In 2022, and like, oh, uh, I'm gonna have my uncle, so his brothers walk me down the aisle. I'm gonna ask them. They don't know it yet, but I'm gonna ask them when I see them in August. Babu, a Luke Skywalker, and Princess Leia. That's so cute, Sarah. We have Kyber, Ahsoka, and Babu, and then Cooper. Cooper's not. Um. Uh. Uh. Cooper's not Star Wars. <laughs> Partner who started crying. Oh. Oh, like clockwork, I cry at weddings and clutch my bag is always stuffed with tissues. Right. Cooper be the ring bear. Right. We're not doing dogs on the wedding. Unfortunately, our nephews are going to be a ring bear. But they're so cute. Cry at mine. But it was my partner who started crying. Oh, God. I bet you I'm just going to be like a blubbering mess walking down the aisle. All right, Ashy. Uh, sure. Bills that don't get paid for tours. Yes. Um, so you guys, uh, basically under like share your creations, it's under like the sim section down a little bit. You can totally share all sorts of screenshots. I love looking at those. Like whenever you guys post, I'm like, oh my God. Uh, renovated college cottage. Oh my God. <gasps> this is the one that we, wait. Yeah, this was, we looked at this one last time and then this is the renovated. I'm excited to see. Uh, six tile, six tile squares upstairs and adjusted the bathroom downstairs to a half bath. The upstairs is now is a full bathroom. I'm excited. Do you want this to go anywhere specific? Yeah, absolutely, Lena. My wedding. Yes, I will post pictures of the wedding for sure. Um, once everything's all like said and done and all that. Three more. We need Anakin, Han and Chewy. That's cute. I love it, Sarah. That's a good one. You should. If anything, if he says no, divorce, but then also like fish are an option or something. If you guys want like a fish tank, that would be cute. Yeah, I have like a very wild flower, whimsical vibe planned for the wedding. Um, so you can kind of see a little bit. And then I'm not doing those gowns anymore. Bouquet idea bouquet idea arch idea just idea not necessarily going to happen but and then uh this was for like a shirt idea that we saw but we're gonna do like the the, the flower pocket squares which is really cool and those are nice um it goes everywhere anywhere okay cool <clears throat> love my ideas thank you uh yes I have bridesmaid dresses solidified, at least the colors. So I'm basically going to let anyone use any color. And uh, where is it? Uh, not any color. Hold on. I'll show you the colors that I picked out. Um, and I'll explain like the parameters. That like the, the guidelines I'm giving them essentially. Um... I just scroll and find them in like Discord. I think I posted it to like a general or something. Hello, D. Hi, fairy. Uh, whimsicals and fairy vibes. Yeah, fairy. It'll be like very natural, naturey, flowy vibes and stuff. This is the. What kind of puppy? We got a mini Schnauzer. He's so cute. He's uh, really little. A wedding planning channel? I do not. I decided against it, but we can just share things on like general and under like memes and photos and stuff. Thank you, Cammy. But basically, um, I'm assigning 
I'm like evenly distributing the colors. So like there's going to be two of the lightest one and three respectively, three of this one and then three of this one, the two darkest. And then I'm going to assign them and then basically put them like wherever they are. And they have to pick their own gown in their respective color in floor length and chiffon, basically. And they can pick any gown in that fabric and floor length. And that's it. And, and then their color. Um, so it'll be nice. I like those colors, though. They're really nice and like soothing. They're like a cool toned green. They're really good. I was like, oh, my God, that's it. Wedding songs. Um, we have a few picked out. Not quite, though. Fall wedding day. Um, it's going to be in the spring. So June 7th, I think. Yeah, June 7th. Of course, right? It's good. I'm excited. I have eight bridesmaids because they're all my closest friends from all different walks of life. <laughs> like all different chapters of my life. Um, and they're all like super, super close to me. So I'm super excited. Showcasing the flowers. Yes, exactly. So the flowers, I want to be like the standout thing and then the dresses to kind of like be there. She is in the wedding party. Yes, she is uh, one of my maid of honors. So she and Jess. Floor length. Oh, not floor lining, floor length. Um, so like all the way down to the floor for length of the dresses. Um. But yeah, they're going to be, uh, Chi is one of my maid of honors and gesticulation is one of my maid of honors. Hey, thank you so much for the four months. You're so nice, Alassi. I, Alassi, I really appreciate you. How are you? This build is so pretty ashy. I love what you did with like all of the, the gardens and stuff. Uh, pretty colors and flowers, helping people have their dream day, spreading happiness, right? Oh my God. I don't think I'd be able to do it like, working with rude people though i'm also like mostly planned just buttoning up details and like ironing i'm like scheduled with everything everyone but buttoning up details with the people that i'm like hiring like the florist and like makeup artist because my bridesmaids wanted a makeup artist i'm like okay <laughs> so they're all paying for their own makeup but i'm they just wanted me to have someone online or in house so uh the ones you didn't pick right uh I'll, I'll decide like how much i want to share for sure online but like after the fact i will definitely share but i don't know if i will going up to it uh kind of in a way i always imagined like what a wedding would be like but in ways i'm also very much so a very organized planner though i plan everything so like this was actually pretty easy for me to like get everything ready i guess if that makes sense um this is so cute i'm in love with this area i made an outside private shower this is so cute ashy i love that and you even threw those in there oh my god you're like oh you wasted no time hi kaylee welcome on in how are you start wedding planning aw if you need if you need like a shoulder casey let me know thank you so much for the follow welcome on in oh my god there's the shower i like that I don't know how to wedding plan, right? If you guys need like suggestions on like where to start, I can uh, totally give you like mentality and guidance and stuff. I'm not a professional, but like at least getting like knowing what to prioritize first is like a huge piece, I think. It does, a base game family home. That's so cool. I love base game houses. Also, Ashley, this roofing is so darling with like the white and everything. I love this. And then you said you added like a few things. Ooh, planning and hosting when there's so much to do. I just wanted to be perfect. Right. I get it. It does look great with the bamboo out there, didn't it? The private shower. I love doing that sort of thing. Right. Yeah. I, I wonder how I would do as a wedding planner. I don't know. You know what I mean? I wonder. <laughs> This is so sweet, introvert. And I dread having to read vows in front of people. Right. You don't have to do that. You don't have to. Some people do not do vows. Um, some people don't do it. Uh, some people do like share them with just one another, like before the ceremony or after it or whatever. Like you can share a private moment together. You don't have to proclaim your vows. You can do the traditional ones that are like, if you want a religious ceremony, you can do your own thing or not at all. This is 
so cute. Oh my God, this kitchen. This is adorable. I love this soft baby blue color. Oh my God, what style of dress? Um, I like the swoopy like arm things, like swoopy, like off the shoulder thing and a sweetheart neckline and something that's kind of like flowy and like lots of lace is like what I've been drawn to. <clears throat> I messed up. So it's really hard to know because I have like three or four different styles of dresses and then like something that looks good on basically. But I know that I like those aspects the most. They're like wedding planning books and journals at bookstores that'll walk you through the process too. Yes, there are. This is so cute. I like the little half bath over here. I love lace too. Um, very, very cool. Oh my God. Ah, this is so cute. The little greenhouse area. There's a little bubble machine in the corner. The staircase that goes up. Oh, I like the little platform and how you like mesh that all together. That's really nice. No, the gallery messed up your tiles. Oh no. I see you were some, you were like trying to do something here. That sucks. Friend who at the ceremony with just parents and siblings present, and then someone else came to their everyone else came to the reception. That way they didn't forget stage right for the vows. Right. Right, exactly. And that's totally like, you know, there's like traditional ways that you can do weddings, but honestly, it's your day and you can do whatever the heck you want. You know, like um, crap. I've seen people elope in Colorado and like they had their dog there or something as their like witness because you can do that in Colorado. And then they had a reception afterwards, like. Mm hmm. Courthouse and then a, a luncheon for family. Yep. Some people do that, too. Hi, Talisha. Welcome. That's for our gameplay challenge that we do. A dog? Yes, in Colorado, you can literally like click, like sign your marriage certificate as your dog as like your officiant or not officiant as you like your witness. It's really cool. <clears throat> There's like it's so like it's very Colorado coded for sure. It's hilarious. It is. Um, this is so cute, Ashley. I love these pinks that you put in here. Kind of separate reception dress versus ceremony dress. No, uh. No, I'm going to go with one gown and it literally pains me to think that like the gowns that I like are a couple thousand dollars because I'm hoping I can get it for cheap, like get a gown that I like that's cheaper because <laughs> I don't want to spend that much. I don't. On my wedding day, we came with the reception with a glass elevator coming down. That's so cool. I love that wifey. This is so pretty, Ashy. I'm in love with like your roofing and everything. Oh, my God. Can we get some hypes and hearts in chat? You killed it. Marshy doing that? Yes, you totally could. In Colorado. <clears throat> the floral wallpaper. That floral wallpaper was from Decor to the Max. It was really pretty, Morgan. How hi, welcome on in. Thank you so much for hanging out. And Ashy, thank you. Warehouse are in those half uh, half off sale. Right. I'm like so excited. Uh you also have to spend a lot for tailoring. Right. I got estimates on tailors for wedding gowns and it was like. Um, I honestly think that her tailoring was like twenty five dollars. She did my uh, like Michael's sister in law. Um, she did Michael's sister in law's uh, gown. And stuff like that. Hi, Victoria. Welcome on in. I'm so glad to see you. So we're going to do two more tours. So this is an anyone goes. Go ahead and type tour T-O-U-R if you'd like your build toured. Um, as long as it doesn't have custom content, we're giving them a tour today. Adding new things to the wedding shell. I'm so excited. The new packs like really pay themselves very well to that, doesn't it? The new kits do. I love that. Spent $300 on a dress that made me, uh, with my measurements and it was online though. So you don't get tons of uh, trials, of course. Right. Because there's a few gowns that I've seen. Am I going to Simsy's wedding? Um, I can't answer. Yes or no. Hi, Tam. Welcome on in. How are you? Welcome. Robin, good to see you. Mayhaps, maybe, maybe not. 
Uh, now adding things to the to the wedding shell. Oh my God, I'm so excited to see what you do. I'm gonna do many more build lives. Um, like where I'm actually building, you mean? Or like, or tours like this, perhaps. Or like where I'm actually building. Um, Cause we're actually working on a dog park right now where it's base game and cats and dogs. Cause that's our current build that we're working at, on. I'm hoping to get something out here, like maybe work on it a little bit today. Uh... As your guest to sign an NDA? No! Keep it all secret so EA doesn't release something on that day? Exactly. And that's... Just, Kayla's keeping it really low-key because she doesn't want EA to release anything on that day because they will. <laughs> it's the law. Little Simsy does something and she plans something and then EA drops something. News, a pack, whatever. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, my God. Shared a photo of her wedding flowers in Discord. Oh, my God. EA and Kayla's like me and Buttspot. It is. You guys are at war. Oh, no, Les. Welcome back. In the bride's room uh, prior to the wedding. Literally, though, I thought about doing something like that. I think that would be fun. Stop halfway through the wedding to record a video, literally though. But honestly, no, like Rotten Lady, I'm tracking what you're saying now. Kayla would stop mid-wedding. She's like getting her hair done or something at her wedding. And then it's like, so the Sims just drop this news and like make the video. Oh my God. I would die. I would also feel so bad if she did something like that. Oh my God. Has to be the reason she doesn't tell this to date, right? Well, also, it's like her, it's her privacy and stuff, too, you know, of course. Um, OK, by the way, this one was Megan Joy 19. Sorry, I got distracted. Video during the wedding, imagine. <laughs> In the bride's butt. No, right, Kai? Butt spot has no tact. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, we had Megan join 19 that won a tour. Let me know what build you want me to tour. As long as it doesn't have custom content, we'll give it a whirl. We'll give it a try. Great, I know, great job on that one, Buzzbot, literally. But I also don't think that unless, like, I don't think it's appropriate to ask other people about Simsy's wedding, if that makes sense. Like... I, th I would rather you guys hear any information from her, like, directly kind of thing. So no asking questions about someone else's wedding type of thing. I think that's a very appropriate thing. Avery's Mama 19. This is so cool. I love it. I'm excited. Do you have, like, a build that you want me to look at? Yeah, she is getting married. Yeah, she posted, like, a video of her, like, trying, uh, like, looking at dresses and stuff um like a wedding vlog thing it, or it was like it was like a youtube video or like uh tiktok or something a wedding until now yep yeah she is getting married and that has been something confirmed for sure the actual wedding right i know because her and dan like they had to like their timelines definitely had to change because so he could live with her and stuff uh callie so we do drawings for tours so your name wasn't drawn. So unfortunately, this tour isn't for yours. This one is uh, for Megan Joy because the bot drew their name. But we do random build tours where you can enter to like have your name drawn out of the hat for like a tour and stuff. Because we do this uh, about once a month or more sometimes, I think. Record a video and address the EA drop major news and, and just hot and walks off. <laughs> right? So you said, um, Megan, what one would you like me to look at? I think you said something. Um, oh my God, these are so cute. Uh, I know she's achieved so much and she is still very young. I think she's like, what, 24 or something? Like Kayla? Like, love, love. Um, so, but so happy. 24, I think I love it. That's so good large family home let me know what you think this is so sweet I know I love this garage already like she's so young I feel like I'm 32 and like geriatric and like what have I done <laughs> you know what I mean but like conquered trauma I guess dang it Kayla no, I'm just kidding but also like I am so so I can't even tell you how proud of like that friend group I am you guys 
Like, I just get so warm and like, I'm, I'm like gonna start crying right now just thinking about it. Um, because they're such like amazingly empathetic people who have conquered so much. I'm like their big sister, basically, right, Naya, right? I feel you. <laughs> like, your butt dust? I'm sorry, <laughs> Naya. Uh, but just watching them, like, grow and blossom, especially, like, when you surround yourself with friendship and love. I am such a huge, like, I'm, I'm very loud about the fact that, like, I think it really counts who you choose to spend your time with and, like, the people that you let in your life, because I think it could, it, it can, like, make you better and stronger, or it can, like, put you down kind of thing, and I talk about this a lot. Like... And it's been really awesome in the last few years to see those, like, relationships and those friendships kind of blossom and to watch people, like, become better and stronger people um, with those friendships. The company you keep, exactly. I always say that you are the company you keep. I think you know that, though, Sulu, because, like, I live by that phrase because, like, and, like, it's really awesome. Oh, my God, I know. I'm watching her dad talk about Dan. I know. I'm going to start crying. Oh, I just love those people so much. And, like, I finally had the opportunity to meet them at, like, TwitchCon last year. And they are... They are the people that... You know, like, when you, when you hear about, like, celebrities or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, you hear about celebrities. And, like... You hope that the, the person that you think they are, like, they are really wonderful people. Um, truly. Oh, the, the love that their family shows is amazing. It is. It is. Uh, and, like, it's awesome. Uh, because they truly are, like, really wonderful, gracious people. And it's really awesome to see that. And I, I can't even sing the higher praises, like, any more than I have. <laughs> I could go on and on and on about it. And I feel like I'm beating a dead horse. But, you know, like, it's really awesome to see. Like, because I, I found Simsy on YouTube and stuff, like, when she was pre-10,000. Like, and it's been this weird experience to, like, myself, like, be, like, a follower and, like, a fan of hers and then to join her, like, be a part of a community and then to become a content creator and then to become a friend and all that has been, like, it's been interesting to see almost through the lens of, like, an older sister-esque kind of, like, age gap, I guess. I don't know. But it's been really cool to see her blossom and grow as a person. And, like, to also be a part of, like, witnessing that, too. You know, like, through the guy, like, through being a friend, then. Um, and to watch how, like, humble she's remained <laughs> and, like, human she's, she's remained. And it's really inspiring. And, like, how much good she has done with her platform, too. And, like, also inspired everyone else in that group, too few feelings uh I was talking about Simsy and just how um I can't remember how we got on the tangent but it's been fantastic to see her as a person just blossom and like everyone else I have feelings but nasty <laughs> uh been single for nine years on purpose to heal time is relative exactly and honestly like learning to love yourself so that you can let love in from someone else is the most important thing and I wish I learned that sooner. It's so hard. Thank you so much for the likes on TikTok, by the way. I'm a sappy person. <laughs> I'm leaking again, right? Aw, thank you so much. And it's really kind of refreshing for me to like experience these friendships too, because I've really been hurt by people as well. But I think it also helps, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately? Like, that we all have friendship trauma. And so we get it when it, you know what I mean? Like, unfortunately, we've all been hurt. <laughs> so, but we all can relate. Healing has, right. Healing has, uh, no, been like the, the best like thing ever. It's so good. And sometimes like you don't realize just how much someone is like holding you back or like pushing you into a box or you have become someone who you do not recognize or someone who you are not intended to be with and like to finally set yourself free of that is such a freeing thing 
This is so pretty. Sorry, I'm on a I'm on an emotional tangent right now. <laughs> Aw. Aw, thank you so much, Sulu. I appreciate that. <sighs> I can't even say I'm PMSing because I'm not. <laughs> I'm just crying. I know. Hi, thank you so much for the follows. Welcome on in, everybody. Uh, it means a lot to say. I've been going through a lot of things that I can't really air out online through like family things that are kind of going on. Uh, no one's sick. We're good. But like, I feel like I've been not running at full speed. <laughs> PMs by proxy, right? No, for sure. I got you. I'll take it. The gallery ID. This one is by uh, Megan Joy 19. Sorry, Megan. <laughs> this is like a perfect suburbia home. Uh, beginning to open up to people again. It's so hard. Though possum. It is so freaking hard to do that. I'm so proud of you to being able to like be vulnerable, especially if you've been in situations where you've been made to feel like you can't be vulnerable or like that vulnerability was weaponized against you or something like that, you know? Like, it is so hard. I've been there and it's it's a fight. You're not gonna be perfect. But being able to like articulate and like recognize those feelings is so huge. Aw, thank you, Megan. <laughs> Uh, right point in my life, you know, any later, I probably wouldn't be here. Oh, Raya, I love you. I'm so sorry, friend. But also, I'm glad that you're here. You're here. I'm glad you exist. And why do you think I sign off of my streams the way that I do? <laughs> I love my mom, and I told her face the other day, I'm glad she's not going to be a grandma to humans. Oh, it's really hard to, like, cut those things, you know, to, like, be able to uh, not carry on that trauma in whatever way that means to you. Break down all the walls. Aw. And like, honestly, I felt that way too before M Morgan. Um, everyone's journey is different. I have sir I've sincerely thought that like the things that I experienced and the thing, the way that I, I was made me incapable or undeserving of good things or to have someone who is willing to like set the tone and the scene for you to be able to break those walls down and that person is out there whatever that looks like and that person might mostly be you too there is that as well but I feel like building upon that and then when you do find a partner and that person to have they will set that tone for and like tend that garden, if you will, to be able to create that space where you're able to continue that, I guess. And that happened with Michael when I least expected it. Uh, this backyard is gorgeous. Uh, okay, but like the way that this little path here, each person is difficult to be in a relationship with someone is very much the opposite. That is hard. Hey. I'm talking smack about you. Why well, you always talk about me? Because you're cute. I didn't do it. <laughs> Whatever she said I did, I didn't do it. <laughs> Especially if Aww, they're nice Aw, Priscilla, thank you. <laughs> That's Michael. <laughs> Similar energy. Right? Like, it's it's really weird, though, because, Priscilla, I was always... I, stinker Belt, exactly. Like... I I was in situations and relationships in my life in the past where I had really struggled with, how do I want to put it? I'd struggled with um, trying to articulate my, what I was feeling inside and not knowing how to word it. So then I just didn't say anything, if that makes sense. Because every time that I would like misspeak, that would get ridiculed. You know what I mean? Like a misstep or a misspeak or something. Um, but with Michael, pretty much right off the get-go, like, it was almost immediate. Uh, it was like, no matter how messy and how, like, discombobulated it was, like, it was never, like, undermined if that makes sense 
Oh no, did the sky get dark? I know this backyard is adorable. I'm in love. I hope you don't lose your internet. Communication is not my strong suit. It's just only been working on. And that's something I really like. I've I've been discovering a lot of things in my personal life lately that have made me understand why I have such a hard time communicating things sometimes or like with all of that. Uh, so like... I relate to that a lot. <laughs> uh, it's so hard to communicate, especially when you've, uh, like, if you've been in a position where you've been, like, almost conditioned by a partner or family or whatever, or friends that you might have had, that sort of make it, that conflict is the bad thing. Any sort of, like, disagreement or conflict is, like, bad. Because conflict isn't necessarily yelling. <laughs> a discussion or disagreement isn't a bad thing. <laughs> it's really hard to unlearn that. Uh, with my kids. Oh, God. I really hope to be that parent to my kids. I will mess up my kid at some point or another. Like, my potential child one day. I will. That is a given. But it's to mess up differently. <laughs> and to own up to those mess ups differently. Aw, Jaxi, partner of the issues and we're working on that is so difficult when two people don't know how to communicate correctly. It's really hard. It is so hard, Jaxi. Exactly, Mickety. I didn't stick up for myself, right? He judged me for stuff, and that is really hard to like kind of stomach and to kind of like move from, you know? sometimes you can be like the best of friends but you're just not a good partner and that's kind of the way that it was with my ex-boyfriend it was like he was definitely intended for like the chapter in which we were together but we just were not like we it was not we were better friends than partners because there were just things that like I needed and that he needed that we just could not provide for each other that doesn't make you a bad person it just means that you're not intended for one another um until that trauma triggers. Oh, God. Identifying, like, one of my biggest things that I've noticed about myself lately is, like, I've been doing a really good job of, like, understanding when I'm triggered and how to not react when I'm triggered, if that makes sense. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. But it's really, it's really hard. Like, because there's been so many things that have been happening in my life that are massively triggering to me. <laughs> it's so, so hard. Because, like, until you're in the moment, you can be good. But, like, when you're in, like, you can talk about it all day. But until you're in the moment, it's right there. Um, oh, my God. This is so awesome, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> this build is beautiful. Thank you for the follows, everybody. Welcome on in. In this little living room here, all the beautiful, delicious tones. Ooh, the green is such a pop of color. I love that, the taupe with the green. It literally is like in a split second. And then like reeling yourself in and not beating yourself up is like not beating yourself up is the hard part because you, you know, you're only pushing yourself down and preventing yourself from like that reflection and that ability to like be better. You know, like, and that's a hard thing too. Um, really articulate, just complete shutdown. Yep. I, I used to shut down. I haven't actually shut down in a while, which is a really, really big thing for me. Cause I would be like there. That was all I knew before is just to not say anything and just everything's fine and then just push on and that's not a healthy way to do things at all uh precious teenagers of the freaking world all pregnancy hormones right body oh i really really oh my god i know y'all are so precious autopilot 24 7 i've been feeling like that for like the last month or so like honestly pretty much since the holidays if i'm gonna be real with myself um cabinet it is it's like the eucalyptus color you're right band it is it's so pretty i love that green i'm a green i'm becoming a green girly surely oh this delicate like pastel green with this pink is so sweet uh triggering during trigger during my wedding planning all 
I'm so sorry, but I'm also glad that you were able to like express that to her. And I hope that like you guys are able to like talk about this. Among Us is Pride Month. Um, I'm not sure if we have a planned date yet or anything. I'm not sure. I know it's such a yellow girly. Sorry, Shella, right? This is so cute. I know these colors are so sweet. It was cathartic, right? There are some things that I have not figured out how to say yet. And I hope that I can when like if and like when that moment comes that I can do that, too. These are from the gallery. Um, you can actually download gallery photos and they're like pictures and stuff off the gallery and their custom content like list stuff. CC free gallery painting things. Only see chat. Oh, no, not Ashy's Internet. OK, this is so cute. Can you help me design my house? These are adorable. This is like Target chic in the best way. Exactly right, Bubbles. It's so hard. It like literally makes my gut hurt. Uh, tra tra trauma and toxic ways. Yes. Absolutely. I do think that some people use d definitely could weaponize trauma. Absolutely. Um, I've seen it happen. It's happened to me, like where someone else have done has done it to me. Um, yes, <laughs> it is definitely something um, that I've witnessed before. I'm the same way. Sometimes it's easier to write it out than say it. Yes, exactly. Sometimes it is. Oh, my God. <gasps> Just one more game. I like it. That's cute. I know the painting in the bathroom. Right? I know, like, the little distinct... I want that in real life. Can I get this in real life, you guys? I want that. That's cute as heck. I love this. Um, And the way that you put those chairs, this feels, like, real to me. Download pictures from the gallery. It's so nice. You can search... You can filter by, like, room and then type in artwork or something or, like, a keyword for something that you're looking for and then type in art, like, and click that. Uh, in my teens when I was like this, honestly. Yep. Exactly. Like some people do upload VODs to YouTube. Yes, I'm behind a little bit, but there's a good majority of my VODs to YouTube limbo. This is so cute. This is very naturey. Angry teen riddled with trauma. Yep. I think in my teenage years, I was likely probably that person too, where it was like the weaponization of trauma and stuff like that. Where, like, it was lack of coping mechanisms and lack of know-how to, like, understand myself. And then you would, like, weaponize that and stuff. Like, I could totally see it as well. Can we get some hypes and hearts and chat for Megan? I know. I definitely... It wasn't something I would do, like, intentionally, if that makes sense. But it was more or less like a... It wasn't like intentional, but it was what I knew. And it was definitely like a defense mechanism. Yeah, 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 for sure. Can't fight without crying. That I used to shut down in any, any, any scent of like any scent of potential like tension. I exit the room mentally, kind of thing. And Tom, do you see me chocolate? Aw, I love you, D. I'm so sorry about that. Eat that chocolate. Feel those feelings. Custom paintings are in the game already. Uh, I don't know how to make them. That's a great question, though. I don't know. It's just magic <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. All right. We have one, one, one more tour. One more tour, and then we're done with tours. So it's going to be Raya. Um, we're going to go ahead and take that ad break real quick because in two minutes, ads are going to play. So I'll be right back. Hold tight and I'll see you in a second. Roll that Aww. beautiful bean for I don't even mean to. Right. I feel like I definitely cry a lot less in confrontation and more about like in a sentimental like teary eyed thing like now, if that makes sense. Does that does that make sense? Like I cry less about pain and confrontation and more about like sappy feelings. <laughs> If your duties are cray cray, please use the spray. I like that. Don't remember where, but I want that so bad. That's cute. It's better. Yay! 
Aw, I'm sorry, Nikki. That's really hard. Breakups are so difficult. I'm so sorry to hear that. Feel those feelings. It's okay. I'm hormonal. I cry about everything, right? I'm just always a very sentimental, like, person like that. I love butter. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that's not butter. Like, wait. Where, what did Buttspot say? I refresh and it's butter. Oh my god. Mm, butter. Cried about dropping a pretzel. Honestly, so valid though. I wasn't until I had a child about like the, the sentimental crying thing. Oh god, Nikki, I relate to that. I broke up with my ex-boyfriend in like early 2020 and we had been together since like 2014. So, like, I get it. Yeah. In, like, 2014. Um, since we've been together. And I was, like, I didn't know who I was. I was definitely, like, I lived to work. I was, I worked. And that is what I knew. And I existed. And I didn't really have hobbies. I was, like, a completely different person. <clears throat> and like I didn't know who I was I lost myself in a lot of ways I live by as people who come and go in our lives and there's people for us to learn from and some are there to test us if they leave they were never meant to be there exactly and that that's a, such a hard thing too is talking about like the friendship breakups you know it text me so about all the things that I'm feeling it didn't automatically call me that means we've actually healed good and sometimes just letting that out so that chapter can like close you know and have that closure because sometimes, like, I don't know, um, I was talking about my ex-boyfriend, like, I don't talk to him, but it was definitely, like, more of a friend than, like, yeah. They do bubbles. I feel like they do, and it's such a hard thing to, like, articulate. Like, the, the platonic friendship breakups are harder than relationship ones. Hi, Anna. Welcome. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I've got all sorts of nerd tats how to get myself back um learning how to spend guilt-free time with yourself and therapy honestly a lot of it for me personally was therapy um and learning how to spend guilt-free time with yourself and um You're just spending time with yourself, like taking yourself out for uh, like a cup of coffee or going for like thrifting or whatever you enjoy for yourself, whatever that might be. Gardening, whatever. Um, but focusing on things that you like and also when it comes time for you to start dating again or something like that, um, not sacrificing yourself and not being afraid to like ask them to do things that you enjoy, for instance. So uh, this is what my brother and his girlfriend kind of struggle with too. Like, um, she wanted to do something. And then my brother was like, I'm not really interested in like horror stuff, but like, I'll go to this horror convention with you. It was like a horror movie, like convention thing. Like where there was like actors and like people from the movies and like producers from those movies at this convention around like it was just like a year or so ago and then she was like distraught that he wasn't really interested in it but he's like but I want to go because you want to go like it's something that you enjoy and like you can like I can still do things with you that I don't necessarily like really vibe with but I want to do it because we're doing it together and that's like a huge thing too so making sure that like you are okay with taking up space and that you deserve to have that give and take from that relationship has been like a huge thing for me too. Um, cause relationships are all about that. <clears throat> Picking on someone isn't flirting, right? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it, but then again, you know, this is something that we all kind of learned. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean? It's not flirting. Oh God. Seriously. Uh, start doing something that you never did with the person you broke up with. That's why I started ice skating because I wanted something as mine rather than ours. Exactly. And it is that sense of like ownership. That is very true. Like owning things that you want to do. Taking up that space. Tell it to middle schoolers. Literally, though. 
All right, who's it gonna be? Is Raya still here? I'm gonna feel bad if they aren't. Oh my God, who is it? <gasps> Raya! Yay! It is, it is Jody, and that's really it. Yes, Kira Augustine, two, two, two. I can pick whatever one that I want. I am excited for this. Man, we got on some good tangents today. Um, I love these emotional talks. They're like fuel for me. <laughs> I love talking about things. Um, yay! Three-year-old because I boy push her at the park. Be like, um, I, I hate that. And I, oh my God. I'll be like, so abuse and bullying is not flirting because then when that person gets older, that's how they think that boys, you know, just for, you know, boys will treat them and then that is what they will tolerate because that's what they've learned. I know, oh, I know, I know you don't normalize that, but I'm like, oh, no, 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 like, <laughs> but I hate that entire like mentality of like, oh, boys will be boys. They'll just push you on the playground or make fun of you because they like you like, but that's not love. And that's not what like a good partner will do, because then thus you will tolerate that as an adult when you're of dating age and stuff like that. I was one of those people where I tolerated that stuff because I thought that was a normal thing. So like, heard it as tellers. Oh, God. Right. Exactly. Punch him back, besties. Exactly. <laughs> Knuckle sandwich. Boys will be accountable. Exactly. That's it. And I know Victoria wasn't like saying like, oh, yeah, like that. But like, that's like the whole mentality, though, that we've seen. I'm like, oh, I could just go on about that. Allowed to tell her daughter that is toxic. Exactly. Right. Breaking that cycle. Aw, for sure. Thank you, Lilac. What the things that we talk about on stream are very controversial, I think. At least according to streamer Twitter, which everything's a controversy, I swear. <sighs> <laughs> streamer twitter stresses me out guys oh, this is so cute uh listening about star wars because i love max i have zero interest in it right i get it same with like michael and hockey and cars he'll go on and on and on and on and on and on and on about it and i'm like i don't know anything about this but i'm gonna listen because you're passionate about it these are so cute. I really want to look at that island house. Two, it not Mata, but it said it is. It's rude how it says it is. Uh, I hate boys will be boys. It's so annoying because people justify the things boys and men do. Exactly, because it's like the lack of accountability, you know, that can come with that stuff. Like, is it sweet? I've heard it maybe once or twice. Really? Like boys will be boys. Is that what you're, is that what you're talking about? It's such a normalized thing here in the United States. <clears throat> That's true. Me not being a straight white cis man on Twitch. That is very fair. How dare I? <laughs> that is controversial. I exist. And so thus I am controversial. <laughs> Only cars I know about anything are the ones that look like they've got cute little faces. <laughs> oh my God. I said that growing up nearly all my romantic even the platonic friendships have been abusive in one way or another, right? It's crazy, isn't it? Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Boys with nouns that bullying me. Exactly. Yes. I have so been told that too. Makes them feel good. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, I like that. My dad would always say, like, I am like I am capable of like fixing something or doing something or like carrying something for myself. But then my dad taught me like it's okay to know that you can do that and be bold. But like if it's your style, like if it's what you want, like sometimes it can make your partner feel good, especially someone like Michael. It can make him feel good to like open the door or carry something for me, kind of thing. If that makes sense. Like, I know not all relationships are going to be that way, but like my dynamic is um, stupid, silly stuff, trying to make a tiny card of ketchup bottles, not a beast or aggression. Exactly. Uh, exactly. This is so cute. I love the little landscaping bits that you did. It's so simple. Just like, boop. They're like little sprinkles. 
this is nice. I love what you did too with like the, the breezy windows everywhere. If he's gone, I'm picking up a couch by myself when he's home and I'm like, babe, it's too heavy, right? No, exactly. Like I'm gonna move that whole couch and then I'm gonna like also like move the car without driving it. I'm gonna pick it up and move it to vacuum under it kind of thing. <laughs> Hi, Jenna, welcome on in. I know the stacked doors, that's cute. Fairly different hobbies, but fairly same ones too. I love Sims. He doesn't know anything about it. He loves football. I couldn't care less, but he have so many other stuff in common. Exactly, Chris. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, this is a CC home. It's sad that there wasn't CC on it though. Because it said... Uh, this one specifically, where did it go? In the description, you wrote something. Oops. You said it is not modded. It just says it is. This one here. Um, I like the look on the guy's faces when I load the back of the truck with goat feed, right? I get it. <laughs> and like, she's got it. Not having parents to let you be once. Uh, so you have to like raise yourself. Aw, Red, that's really hard. Oh, the counters have disappeared. Oh, no. We can pretend there's countertops here. This is so cute, though. You did a really good job with everything, like the layout and all that. Like this, I like the little area over here. A legend, right? I love that. Oh, maybe, maybe there was more CC in here. Maybe you thought that there wasn't or something. Because it looks like there's not a lot of things in here. The gallery, the counters, here. Um... Uh... A fully functional kitchen, right? <laughs> so you said the happy hippie home was gonna be a better one? Okay, I'll check that one out. Um, Beautiful hippie home for you to achieve your Sims hippie dreams. It says modded, but it isn't. Okay, so here, look at how cute. So 50 by 40, did you want this to go anywhere specifically? Oh, the one not CC marked? Okay. Um, There's not any that aren't CC marked on your thing. Typing is very hard. So hard, I agree. The how dare the keyboard move the keys around. <laughs> All. Uh, they, no, seriously, they don't realize how strong we are, for sure. Oh, uh, go that I've been playing forever. No worries, you're good. I'm so excited. That exterior though of that Solani home was really cute like and I can only imagine what the inside of that one was gonna look like oh this one here we go new crust excellent they see a fat girl with a couple hundred pounds of feed bags and they ask if they need help I just smile and say it's okay and then I throw them like a small sack of flour your ancestors are smiling upon you I type like lightning half of it is me backspacing Switch furniture. Yes! I hope that your flooring situation's going well, Sue. Love them follow my dad's footsteps, aka out of my life. Ooh, zing! Right. Oh my god. Ouch. They say that you find a partner um, that is similar to your dad. So I'm just kidding. Wait, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no! Please laugh. Please laugh. It was a joke. I'm so sorry. I feel like I was mean. Uh, I'm Arrow, so yes, that is true. That is fair. I agree, right? <laughs> they say, some may disagree. <laughs> no, Angela. Uh, I love the little trees and stuff. Oh, no. Right, Anna? This is so sweet. I like your little... Joking. Oh my God, right? <laughs> this is so cute. I like the little, uh, the little pool area in the back and how you did this and like your roofing and everything. You take that back right now. Right. I love joking about it, to be honest. I get it. I do make dead dad jokes though. So I don't think I've really made them live, but I do make dead dad jokes. Um, I get it. I'm, I'm with you. Trauma, like, Humor, it, it helps, it, it helps me cope. <laughs> the bushes around the pool, me too. 
Oh my god, those are really nice though. I like those. They're like the the little pretty little ditties. That's what they're called. That that ditty makes me laugh, right? No, Jamie, for sure. I look seriously. Do you have to go look for your twin, right, Moon? Marry someone similar to their moms. I I think Michael like said something to me the other day. He's like, "Oh my god, you're like my mom in that way" or something. I can't remember exactly what it was, but like there's some similarities. And I was like, Michael is definitely a lot like my dad in a lot of ways. Um, but I also had like a strong father figure like presence with my dad, though. I know that bla that bed on the platform. Right. I love this little living room and like all the the cute items, like the clutter and stuff in the bed platform. Oh, I really dealt with the emotional side of it. Why not make jokes of it? Right. <laughs> For sure. I'm with you. This is cute. I would love like waking up in the morning with like the the sun shining through here. Part of why is my ex right, Mickety? It's crazy, isn't it? To like reflect on things sometimes. This is awesome. I love. Oh my God, like this little area too. That's so cute. You got like a little uh, terrarium area over there. Ashy, please stay safe. That is so scary. All right, friends, so uh, can we get some hypes and hearts in chat? That was the final build tour of this circuit. I really appreciate you guys for uh, hanging out and wanting to tour and look at some things. I was like, this mom, and it made me cry. Oh, that is really nice, though, Victoria. Sometimes that's like a very big compliment. Uh-huh. Hoops and hunts. What do you mean hoops and hunts? I feel like I missed something. Michael has D&D tonight, guys. I have some things planned, so I'm excited for that. We live on a hill, and there's a water-retaining tank and pond on the hill from us. Ah, see, like, we live on a really big hill, too. We live, like, right on the Mississippi River, but it's literally, like, we're super high. So, like, if we flood by our house, like, build a boat, because... Y'all are going to be totally, like, in deep crap. <laughs> uh, breaking was my Sims home. That felt like us. We thought our water heater went out earlier last week, but then it was just the pilot. And then we thought that our dishwasher went out, but the engine was just, it, it, the, the motor is running a little loud, so I think it might be on its way out. But it's been one appliance after the other, and it's so frustrating. If we flood, there are houses underwater, right? Like, same here. Because we live on a very big hill where we are at. So, share one of your builds. Uh, one of my builds. Um, I could. I guess I don't really tour my own builds. Should we do that last? So, I love our house. It's built into a man-made hill, but the basement is level with the street, so I don't get any flooding. Nice. Our basement, uh, like our house, we learned that our house is the oldest in our neighborhood. It was like in 1908 or something like that, or 1903, pre-1910s, basically. And um, we learned that our basement, if like when we purchased the house, we're like, why is the basement all these different levels and everything? And we're like, oh, it could be bedrock, whatever. But it turns out is that like our basement was before like there was really proper plumbing in this area for like sewage and like whatever. So then our um, our basement is intended to have water back up into it because of the like just the time period when it was built and stuff. So there's like the lowest level that like gets some water in it when it rains really heavily and stuff. And then it just drains out. We have a it's a really old. It's a creepy basement. It's not like a nice basement. Hey, Maddie, thank you so much for 39 months. Welcome on in. I super appreciate it. End of tours. Yes, Um, we are going with that's the end of tours for now. But then next week we have shell tours. But I want to tour one of my builds. Into a man-made hill, the basement is level the street. That is really nice, Victoria. Fix the robot vacuum and the washing machine and the toilet dishwasher and a shower. That's so crazy. Do you have like the gremlins trait thing or something? Or whatever, like where things break. Love my builds. Thank you. I wonder what we should look at. It's my streamer given right. Aw. What one should I look at? My Realm of Magic headquarters is really cool, but 
it's literally like hard to get to. Okay. Um, we have the Apple Gem House, which we've seen relatively recently. An older build. Oh, really? Um, I can tour one of my builds from like way back in the day. Do you guys want me to do the first house that I ever uploaded to the gallery? Uh, in 2018. My builds did not always look like this, by the way. Not even a little bit. Like open floor plans. Um, big squares. Like my builds were never like this. Uh, so this is like, yeah. This is very different. Um, I also had this one that I uploaded to. Let's do this one. Suburban Bungalow. It was from 2018. Knowing me. I put this one over here. Because this is like the one lot where I used to build all the freaking time. Like my big squares because it's easier to see everyone, right? <laughs> I get that. It really is, though. A blue suburban, right? You can definitely tell that I watched Simsy. Like, I loved my blue suburbans. A butt suburban, a butt suburban. Oh, my God. That's funny, though. Octagon, and it was like eight years old. Oh, God. I know I had builds that were a lot more like vanilla than this before this one uh, that I never uploaded to the gallery. This one was like my first build that I actually felt confident in. Um, hi, Galleria. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing good. Searching for your first house to buy. I'm excited for you. Giant box with like four windows. Literally, though. Oh, yeah, my TikTok. Are you talking about that one? Literally, though. Um, yeah, that, that TikTok was so funny. Everyone's first Sims build, like for like at eight years old or something. Yeah, that one went unintentionally, like, un, like I don't know why that one went so viral. That was a very viral TikTok. Um, let me see. It was like super viral. Um, let me look at it, guys. Hold on a second. I have not uploaded in a while. Like, I wanna start uploading again. I'm finally, my brain's being nicer. That one had 1.3 million views and 85, almost 86,000 likes on TikTok. <laughs> My facial expressions, right? You just got to lean into it. But this is uh, one of my first, my first build that I ever uploaded to the gallery, by the way. Um, it's called Suburban Bungalow, because like that makes sense, I guess. Um, apparently. And then there's like a little pool. I try to make like a pond, but I put a pool out here. Um, and then my backyard area, you can tell that I loved the gardening stuff. And there's like a little fire pit. And there's this little area. <gasps> Fostering a pregnant uh, guinea pig. Oh my God, in two to three weeks, we're on four babies. That's exciting. I love that. That's so nice. I hope everything goes well with that. Um, and then I have like this little trellis moment back there, as well as like this little porch. Little patio set. Grill. Um, and then this, let's go ahead and go in the front door. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Um, back when I did like a more open floor plan, you guys, I could never today. <laughs> like imagine. Um, little entryway. I don't know what that was about. I think that was a misplace, but it's a cat tree because like, yeah. Um, back when the saucers were huge too, the subtle saucers, because they made them like smaller now. Or did they like the super subtle saucer? Right? I feel like I remember this house. I think I've toured it like once before. Um, because I built this before I started live streaming again. So this is so fun. This is like in 2018. I thought I was like so genius for that. Like the divider behind the bookcase. <laughs> I remember how like smart I felt for that and using this divider here too. 
I was like, this is the most big brain thing ever. These color situations are definitely a choice. And I think I pulled it out off of this divider. And then there's like a big table here. Um, and then laundry. I had a staircase here at one point, but then I just didn't. But yeah, this is an okay spot for a staircase, actually. So you can do like an under the stair like situation with a washing machine. Um, and then over here we have a bathroom. I remember before I had started streaming, I, I, I had Simarchy tour this one, actually. The divider bookcase thing, right? I was like, dang. Okay, look, uh, my kitchen. Big island back in the day when I actually had done something like that, because I don't do that kind of stuff today. Like the big islands in the middle of the kitchen. I love it. Awesome. I'll be sure to check it out. Thank you, Galleria, for sharing. Think you like it. Thank you. The vampire's floor tiling, though. The chokehold this had on me for a while. I think she is uh, still on hiatus. I think she's kind of like not really streaming anymore from what I know. No, that was Frank. Frank pretty much retired. Frank the Pegasus did. Uh, she's like no longer streaming, basically, but like maybe once every once in a great while kind of thing. She like basically gave up her streaming office and everything, but she's essentially retired. Um, this build is beautiful. Right. Thank you. And then I made um, an office. I like how I sized this up back in the day. Like I just would size things up a lot. I do every once in a while today, but like I don't do it like that anymore. Not like that. So this is an office that I had with two cat beds. I think I actually built this house for my ex-boyfriend and I's like sim selfs and stuff with our cats is what we did at one point. Um, and then we have a bedroom over here. See when I would size this up? Like, why did I do that? No, I'm just, like, oh, that's not good. I don't like that. So long to even build this lovey. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like it, though. But uh, my houses were a lot larger back then. Like, why did I size those things up like that? That is definitely not what I would do today. Um, I can go back and like tour another one. Oh, take me so long to build like this is lovely. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> but like, I had more. I had ones that I thought even predated that. Maybe they didn't. Oh, no. Yeah, then there was this one. This one is in uh, January of 2019. That one was a lot of fun. And then this. I made this. Uh, my friend was doing the 100 baby challenge and I made her a house with the pack she had. Um, this is back in 2019 in like March. Um... Oh, God, this was the first house I ever built on stream, actually. I feel like I definitely went a very different direction with my building. Like, I tried something different. It was black and gothic and Victorian and definitely not. And this is my first ever modern house I ever built. Back when I didn't really do a lot of landscaping. That was for Not So Berry. <clears throat> um... God, ugh. I was really proud of this bathroom. That's crazy. It's weird to think about this stuff. Redo my mall with my current abilities. Right. There's so many things that I want to go back and do. Ooh, this gray gen house was a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> oh, it's a big kitchen. Oh, my God. Pfft. The tower. This one was like a crazy tower that we lived in for our orange generation. He was definitely a uh, a mad scientist guy. But I have a, a lot of my earlier builds are not so great. Ooh. Oh yeah, I did like this one at some point. This one's called Grandma's House. That one was kind of fun. The uh pooper nickel castle to newer viewers. Oh yeah, the pooper nickel castle. Hold on. Oh, yeah, the cat lady mansion. <clears throat> that one was definitely hard. I struggled with that one a lot. 
Um, okay. So where is my castle? All right. I don't think, I think we have a lot of people in here that have not seen my castle before. Give me a second. Um, where is it? It's up a little bit more. Here it is. Okay, so this one goes out here in Henford on Bagley, I think. Um, I do believe it was here. No, it was in Windenburg, I'm pretty sure, I think. Where did I put the castle? No, it had to have been in Henford on Bagley. Wasn't it? No, because they don't have a lot that's big enough for that. Oh, yeah, it was totally this one. <clears throat> I'm going to go here. Um, Cross your fingers using Scarlet's mod update list and update my mods and I'm putting my game back online. Uh, fingers crossed that it works for you. Attempted to make the burrow back then when I actually like Harry Potter still. Nice. That's so fun, though. I love it. I like all those crazy, like fun builds like that, though, that you guys do. It's neat. All right, the, my biggest flex is that this thing was 100% functional. Like, that is my biggest flex as a simmer. And I think I had to change, like, two things or something. Tower of the Tiny Farm Shed in Henford, right. Yes, I remember that. It was, like, like right here, this little one. It, like, made it feel so tiny. <sighs> I'm excited for this. Uh, who was it that didn't like the decor? Oh my god, it was the guy that we were touring it with. Um, <laughs> he's like poorly decorated. He was like having him play test it, and then he like he thought it was poorly decorated. He hated it. He was like, "That is a really big disappointment." But yeah, this is the big build that we made last year. Um, this is CC free. This was so fun to make. It was like, I hyper focus hard. We spent like a month building this, I think. It's very, like my computer struggled with this one. A hundred percent. I can't even tell you the amount of times I went back and forth to test, like see what swatches we wanted to have or wanted to use and stuff. I know I want to do that so bad, Lexi. I think I might go on TikTok live tonight. Oh my God. Cause I need to take a break. I think I might go on TikTok Live tonight and build something later tonight or finish the dog park. I'm excited. This is so cute. Uh, building a Batu, I never have yet, no. And then there's like lots of gardening thingies, but lots of little details everywhere. So one of the things that I did was uh we made this little like pond i tried to make it you know look natural and then i i really i made like a portocullis i don't know why this here is all weird hold on like this i don't know why that's there it's supposed to be over there it's weird sometimes the gallery is strange um and then there's nothing inside these walls, though, like in the actual walls themselves. Um, OK, so this over here. So these are like little houses. Um, so this is like a house and then this is like a bar and an inn, like a bar. No, this is a bar. The local watering hole, if you will. Um, this is so cool. Thank you. I built this last year. Uh, right before Horse Ranch came out. So this is a fully functioning house. Um, there's like a little living room right here in the front door. I try to make it like straight up medieval. I want to go get watered there. Same. I want to get watered so hard. Kitchen fully functional. There's like a little built in uh, table thing. And then there's a bed that's fully functional too. Very medieval. I love doing like period specific builds. Um, I put like a little well here. And then... Uh, 
It was like an information board. And then, um, so you go up and around and then inside and then there is a piano and all that. Nope, there's no bathroom because I'll show you. Typically, places like this didn't have bathrooms in houses way back in the day. That, those were for rich people. Um, but the bar, it's like some bar stools and stuff. So that's the local watering hole. And then over here, we have uh, a stable for horses. And then this is an inn. So like a little, a little like inn or whatever. Um, so you walk in and then I pretended to put like a little place where like a receptionist person or the person running the inn would sit, you know, if you were to like pretend. Um, but then it goes up and then there's a, a bed here. And then there's a, a bunk bed with a desk and then there's a bed here. So this can suit, this can like sit three Sims in this inn. And all of these builds kind of have their own like vibes and stuff. And I thought that was so cute. Um, then here we have our mill and our bakery, actually. I really like this one. This one was so fun to make. I'm pretty proud of this one. Um, so this is like a mill. And it goes all the way around. And then you can see there's like a water wheel off the back of it. And then we're going to go inside. And you can see. Um, so there's, oh no, I've lost things. Oh wait, never mind. Okay, so there's pillars there. And it's kind of like a bakery display. And then you could pretend that there's the person running the bakery back here. But then all the things that are for sale. And then you go in here. And we custom made this like the, the flour mill thing. So this is all no CC and we use tool mod to like use end tables and make like a, a mill um, and put this like gear thing and make it look like it's being turned by this. Um, I was really proud of that. It was really fun. So this is actually a gear statue from like university, I think. Um, and then over here, we kind of have like a faux fireplace where you like bake your bread and whatever else and like a water well thing for like a sink you know, a sink <laughs> and then a flour scale, some eggs and ingredients and like a big tin for all the flour and whatever else. <clears throat> all the baking ingredients and of course, like sacks of flour, probably a broom to clean up. <laughs> but that's the mill. Um, And then we're going to turn back this way. And here I actually made like a blacksmith. I say thing with things with quotes because these aren't actually functional. They're just for fun. Like they don't function as they are. But like I did put a handy like a woodworking table in here just because I thought it like suited the vibe. But then you have like all sorts of swords and things back here. And then you walk in the back and then I made a little bit of a furnace style thing like they would use like a, with a blacksmith almost. So and then I put little pillar table things and like maybe horseshoes, some tools and whatever else that they might use. It, it is very medieval vibe, isn't it? And then suits of armor that are just like in the window. But yeah. And there's like so much gardening everywhere. I can't wait to work on the 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 fantasy style build now. I want to do that. Um, And then up the hill <clears throat> over this way. Uh, you can see there's a farmer stand thingy. Um, and we cluttered all of this. We went through and we put all sorts of like vegetables and stuff in here and then eggs and. And stacked everything and moved everything around and used tool a lot. <laughs> but um, there's like a little ledger or something. This little farmer market stand thing. That was so fun. Hi, AK. Welcome on in. Good to see you. So that's the, the front end of this build. So we're going to go up the hill from the mill. We have an outhouse that we put on the mill. And, you know, medieval times, they weren't exactly known for like sanitation. Um, so upstream from the mill, we have poop. Coming from the outhouse. Because they, you know, it's good. The giant eggplants, I love it. It's so good. It's so good. And then, um, so the stream comes out here. There's like a big sewer pipe. This was one of the first things that we like put in. 
also did that. And then there's lots of like foliage everywhere. I basically wanted it to be like very ornate with lots of rocks and things kind of just like cascading down the hill. Pooper Nickel Brad. Yeah, this is Pooper Nickel Castle. I think it's been like a year. Right, AK? It's crazy. And then this goes up this way. So this is like a little stool, lots of garden things. And then it goes up here. And then I put like a wishing well. And then there's a staircase that goes in the back of the castle. I know I forgot about the Zelda, uh, the Triforce too. So then this, the staircase is kind of go this way. And there's um, a little area to sit as well over this way. And then around the corner, it kind of just meanders. And then there's like another little like place hidden back here. <clears throat> well, that is kind of funny, right? If you think about it. Well, it's also right above this too. <clears throat> like up there. A Zelda kick. I know. I know. I loved playing Zelda. But this is what the actual castle itself looks like up here. Um, like on top of everything. So you can see this is sort of like the little city. And we also have like things on the walls up here. Like for defense or whatever. Nothing's in the towers actually. But um, the cannons are over there. Uh, but yeah, this is the actual castle itself. I spent a really long time trying to figure out how I wanted to do this. This is the actual castle. Um, all right, so I would love to go onto the inside now. So there's like a little portacullis thing up here too. Um, so you go in and I tried to go very like Viking-esque. I don't know how to put it. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Uh, so you walk in and there's two staircases that'll kind of go upstairs. And then around the back, there's like a, a nectar like storage place. And if you go this way, um, there's a hall and a throne room. And then it goes off into like a little sitting room and stuff like that um, with a, a double faced like. Fireplace, which is then off of the uh, like the dining hall here on the side. And then the kitchen is off this way. Rearrange the entrance because diagonal. It was so hard because it is on a diagonal. It was really hard. I did this before the castle kit and before Horse Ranch. I got Horse Ranch. Like we we added the finished finishing touches when Horse Ranch came out. I know this would be cool to a vacation space. You could totally do it. It's functional. You might have to like add things to make it work, but you could totally do that. No, because a vacation is just a Gorgale house. Yeah, this is a full functioning house. Um, and then, yeah, the throne room, I got turned around. Um, yes, we have like a throw, uh, all that. And then again, this is like the stairs that go upstairs. So then there's like a lounge, like hangout space up here with like fireplaces and like the hallway upstairs. And then this is probably like a servant's quarters or something. So each of these houses have a toilet, a chamber pot and a fireplace because like they would have chamber pots in their bedrooms and stuff so then we have a big library in here beautiful and then this is like the main bedroom i would imagine probably um so they have their own fireplace they even have their own bath and then a chamber pot of course because you gotta poop <laughs> so that Remake of the Rapunzel castle. Oh, really? Right? No, because like, I didn't, I've never even seen the Rapunzel castle before, but the flag is like, a, I think that's from Batu, actually. I think it's actually from Star Wars, that one specifically, but I could see how it could like feel like it. Um, and then we have another big bedroom over here, too. There's like a little desk in here. Um, and then off on the side, we have that one, that one, that one, that one. Oh, yeah, here. Here we go. I skipped this one on accident. And then this one is probably for like kids or something. <sighs> Sims medieval vibes. I want a medieval themed pack so bad. But 
I don't know. I had a lot of fun making this. So I think one of the next things, and I didn't do anything up there because I don't want to deal with the rat's nest. That is the roofing because no, um, absolutely not. <laughs> so that's all just nothing up there. But that's what it looks like. I really want to make the what's it called? Um, what the heck is it called, you guys? Um, thank you. I appreciate that. I love doing them earthling too. Same. Um, I want to make the sci-fi themed build like really high fantasy, like alien. I've been like modern and like I'm thinking glass and white and plasticky stuff. I don't know how I'd pull it off, but I want to give it a try. So I've never made something like that before. So I think that would be really fun to do something basically kind of like Sims 3 into the future vibes. I could see that. Different is from the castle, right? Um, cause I've done like a lot of really crazy big builds like that. So I usually do run really large build a year. That takes me like a month to like work through cause it's just insane. But alien builds, does he really? I don't think I've ever seen Alex's stuff like that. Uh, I do. I stream Monday through Friday. I do. I'm a full-time content creator. Thank you for being here, Brownie. That's so nice of you. Um, you can see my social media links. I don't upload to YouTube like right now, but I want to get back into it. But we have a community discord. Um, and if you follow right here, I stream Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Central to about 2 p.m. Central for reference. It's 3 p.m. right now, basically. Um, give or take. Um, tomorrow I will actually be going live earlier than 10 a.m. because I want to do co-working before we get going on. Um, what's it called? I want to do co-working and like a productivity session to start our morning off before we uh, start gaming. So that's on the agenda for tomorrow. I hope you will come by, uh, spend your morning with us. And then, yeah. But if I don't see you tomorrow, um, I'll be live on Monday at 10 a.m. then. So I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me. You guys are gems. You're absolutely amazing. So I, I will in fact come by, yay, I guess. <laughs> Tomorrow's the last day of May. So, and then it's Pride Month starting on Saturday. But sure, yes, I, I can't wait to see you here. So if you're not following already, make sure to drop a follow right here on Twitch or TikTok. Thank you for being here. Um and jump into our Discord to get live notifications and updates and things that we're doing and hanging out. Um, our book club in Discord is also reading the Aquatar series. I'm not a part of the book club. I'm not a bookie, but like we've got people in there reading it. So, aw, oh, had a kid idea. I'm so glad to see you even for a little bit, Celine. That was so nice. So beanies, come on a raid with me. Let's go raid our friend, Sailor T. She is playing Sunhaven, which looks really cool and cute and everything. But I really appreciate, yeah, join the book club. I wish that I could be more of a mouthpiece for it, but I don't read like that. So I feel lame, but like it's there. I hope to see you guys tomorrow morning, earlier than 10 a.m. Central, bright and early. I want to do it. I'm making a promise to myself. Um, A link for the Discord. Yes, Um, it's also in the link tree in my bio as well, but the link to the Discord is right there, Brownie. <clears throat> but my link tree is here. If you have problems opening it, copy and paste it. Um, Cause then it'll work for some reason. Sometimes it doesn't if you just straight click on it. But um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. As they always say, tomorrow's a beautiful day, especially with you in it. Here is a boop for the road, boop. And I will see you later. I love you. Bye, thanks for the wonderful day. I miss you already.